<laughs> you know I will. Well, sorry about that. Oh god, even if it's a stick figure, I want to see it. Okay, without any other further bullshit, thank you for the 10 bits, Sony. We're gonna get this goddamn show on the road. Here we go. Welcome back, you mateys, to Drunks and Dragons. Yeah, now that Turkey's done fucking talking, that's right, it's Perry's turn. Hey, hopefully there was no sound check issues this week, am I right? <laughs> so, I'm Perry the Pirate, the storyteller for this here season, and I know with all the chaos, the bullshit, and the shenanigans, it makes it hard to be able to remember the story and all the shit that happened last week. And I know if you've had one too many me's by the end, much like old Perry here, it's hard, and that doesn't help either. So, I am here to help you remember about all the shit that happened in our story. That's right, last week, our heroes went to collect supplies for the upcoming adventure. You know, they killed some goblins. They could have been good goblins or bad goblins. Who really knows? Yeah, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel chopped up a bunch of bodies. Yeah, that seems like a lot of fun. And Bubbles dissed the crap out of Rufflecock. And of course, our King Rufflecock gave a bunch of shitty old speeches. Yeah, they were great. Anyways, they got their supplies, and now they're off. We return now to our heroes on the road to the next town. But there is evil afoot, and it won't be too long before our heroes face their first challenge. So fill up your flagons, assholes. It's fucking time for Drunks and Dragons. Let's go. Yeah. This is Drunks and Dragons, so fill Our story continues tonight with our heroes on the road. They have just spent some time camping. Yes, they have. For the night. Because they've been traveling for a few days. We're going to go one by one, and I want each of you to tell me exactly where we would find you on this campsite. What are you doing here? Did you start a fire? Do you have a tent? Did you go hunting? What is it? I'm not sure. I will let you guys pick who wants to go first, hey? But first, we, we have, have a raid! Wait a minute! Raided. We have just been raided. We have just been raided. I wonder who it's from. It's from motherfucking Big Jim Slade Gaming! That's who the fuck it's from. Yo, Big Jim! 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 Thank you so much for the raid, Big Jim. Yo, hey, guys, if you didn't already fucking know it, we love Big Jim. He's one of our good old streaming friends, and he is a great streaming lad. He showed us some love, so make sure to go show him some love. We love Big Jim, all right? You get Bell, Big Jim, because we love you. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Are you okay, Turk? Yeah, dude, I'm just hyped because it's Sunday, and I'm having a good day, man. That's all it is. That's all it is. Are you okay? With the real questions here. Wait, what was the question? Did you guys make sure to keep the beans and spinach away from Rasheel? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Needs more cowbell. Oh. Hell yeah. Okay. Their story begins with these three lads. They've been traveling for a few days. And the sun is rising on the road. They're packing up their camp and getting ready to travel once more, where will we find each one of you on this campsite? What are you doing? What are some of the conversations you've had? What's the deal? You know what, Rufflecock, you go first. Where you been? What are you doing? What's the deal? For seeing how cowardly I was last week during the goblin fight against the bad goblins. We're going with bad goblins. We don't sure, care, but I'm calling them bad. But, after seeing how cowardly I was, I want to be able to fight so i have taken a multi-class into a fire to become the strongest king of all trains and i'm going to be fighting fighting and i'm just i have the tiger all the way all the way just been punching so you're like punching nothing you're like out hours. here fucking shadow boxing or what you're like shadow boxing in the morning as the sun is rising is that what you're doing yeah 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 
Yeah, okay, and if no one checked that, uh, if you look, you could actually check the D&D Beyond character sheet. Yes, you can. There is an extension. You could check these guys' character sheets and Rufflecock multiclassed into Fighter. We'll have to see what he multiclasses into next. Take your votes now! But as for right now, he is a Fighter Bard. Eye of the Chicken. It's the eye of the chicken. It's the fear of the night rising up to the channels of our rivals. Beautiful, beautiful, Rufflecock. I fucking love that. So you're out there doing some shadow boxing. Rasheel, on this campsite, as everything is, the sun is rising, where would we find you? You can find me on the edge of the campsite, putting the finishing touches on my shoes made of teeth. Oh, yeah, you have teeth shoes. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, God. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm going to get us some forest sounds going here, because hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, you're putting teeth on your shoes as the sun is rising. Bubbles, where will we find you as the sun is rising, huh? I'm the Ecto fucker. Because he's a rooster? Time to wake the fuck up. Okay, yeah, go I'm ahead, Bubbles. Where? Fuck up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I get really, really hungry in the morning, so I've been in the bushes looking for chipmunks to cook, because nothing makes me more happier than a chipmunk on a stick. Oh, okay, so that means we could actually make a roll. Hell yeah. So, you're tracking chipmunks. What we're going to do mm -hmm. is I want you to just roll me a survival, Bubbles. I don't know if you have survival, but roll that shit for me. We'll see what happens. Rachel has the best designer shoes. Yeah, I, in the future, I would love to see some Rasheel Pumas, and they're just lined with teeth at the bottom. You know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta get some Converse and just draw teeth all across the bottom. That'd be great, dude. They function very similarly to cleats. Oh no! <laughs> got cleats. Give a dice. Uh, hey, first reroll of the night Thank comes you. from Big Jim Slade. Thank you, Big Jim Slade, for the reroll, my guy. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Uh, a 10. Do you have any bonuses to survival? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Okay, so here's what happens. You're going through the forest on the edge of this forest. You know, you aren't in the forest, but you're on the edge going to this next town. There's trees everywhere, bushes and shit. You hear what sounds like a chipmunk. Could be a squirrel. You don't know. And you track it. You track it. You track it. All night, you finally see it. And as you go to throw your sword at it, you don't have a long-range weapon, do you? That's maybe the problem. The dice I tell all! The sword. Okay, so you go to throw your sword at it, and as you do, your sword hits the ground. Barely misses the chipmunk, and the chipmunk scatters off. You feel defeated. It's a bad way to start a day. That Indeed. just makes me so mad later. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It fucking should. It fucking should. Hell yeah. Um, uh, did I miss some chats here? I bet I did. Turkey is embracing his inner bird. Fuck yeah, dude! I missed that. L-E-S-E-P-U, thank you. Monk, not boxing. That's boxing, not fighter. Hey, oh, whatever. You can like, do the things. Do the things. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, cool. So, you guys wrap up your camp. You begin walking down the road once again. Rufflecock, boxing, shadow boxing. Rachel's shoes kind of like crunching into the sand and Bubble's stomach rumbling. As a reminder, it's been about a day. You guys might have one day left of rations left from the survival things you got um, last episode. You have about one day left of each of you of eating. So maybe think about food in the future, but for now, you've got one day left. But Bubble's one more, I guess. I assume. I assume. Yeah. So who's walking up front here? Tell me. Be taking the lead. I wanna, I wanna yeah. show, I wanna show Bubbles and Rasheel, Rasheel and Bubbles, the great and beauty of our forest is. Look at how beautiful our forest is. Are. Fuck Look, this forest. There's so much wood and wild forest. Life. All right, back to Do the you forest think sounds. Wood is beautiful. Do you hear can the sounds? Can you tell us how much? Can you tell us how much you love wood? I love woods so much. I love woods as, as far as the eye can see. I love big wood, small wood, dark wood, light wood, soft wood. I love all the woods. 
And I want you guys to see if you guys find your freedom. Why even be in society itself when you can live in a forest with everything you need? You hear the sound of that? That's a yellow tail pigeon. Ray. So you're saying all Ray you need is wood and pigeons. Yes. <laughs> all you need is the greatest woods surrounded you. You just need all the wood around you. And you can feel free. Free to live. <laughs> but most of all, do you love morning wood? Morning wood? I'm not really it's a morning person, but I love night Technically... Wood. It's the name of the forest up here. Oh, hold on, y'all. Don't look at that. No one look at that. All right, here we go. It's the name of the forest right here. Oh, it's unnamed forest. Damn it. Let me fix. Hold on one sec. I fix. I fix live. Welcome to the shit show, everybody. I fix live. Here we go. Welcome to the shit show. Here we go. It fixed live. The name of the forest that you guys are passing is legitimately called Morningwood. As so named last week here on the show, chat named it Morning. Wood. You guys are passing by Morning Wood, making your way down to the unnamed town. So it's very appropriate that you say all these things about wood, because yes, very good. Very good, Rufflecock. Very good. All right. Forest sounds annoy turkey. Now. Pigeon wood. I love wood. I seen OT. You didn't see nothing, Dratsum. All right. X underscore X mustard. It's spelled Morning Wood. That's right. Very innocent name. Hell yeah. So... As you three walk and Rufflecock is walking, explaining how wood is and how much he loves his wood as a good lad should, I assume. You've all been traveling along the road for days! An evening approaches. You spot a wooden signpost next to the trail that leads north into the hills. Nailed to the post is an arrow-shaped sign with the name of this upcoming Town. Chat! First name a thing of the night, I would like you to use the experience point command and use name a thing to name this upcoming town. And it is the unnamed town with the moat around it. I'm gonna continue my dialogue. You guys use your name of things and throw them into chat. Let's go. It's sad, really. All right. Uh, chat, name this town. This sign beckons you to follow the trail. If your map, Rufflecock, is accurate, the town is only a few miles ahead. On your map, you see that this town is surrounded by a moat, and it once used to have a name. Something about a giant rock, you don't know. Unnamed town with a moat around it. I will fucking name it that. Do not fuck around, Nate, because we I will I will use that, alright? <laughs> Uh, drag some uh, XP is just like the channel currency. It's Twitch's currency. Honestly, I wish I had more of a control over it, but I don't. Um, but you can see how much you have by clicking the little experience point bottle at the bottom. It's an orange guy. <laughs> you know this. You're a streamer. Hardwood. Moat o meal. My God. So, since you took over Malt o meal, Moat o meal. Since you took over Rufflecock. The Mad King forced all of these towns to name their towns after him. And so now, finally, they all have the chance to be able to rename them back to what they used to be, or something even better. So on your map, the names there are inaccurate. And we're learning now, breaking the third wall, Chad is helping us name these fucking things, what the names of these towns are! Really like Soggy Bottom. Soggy, okay, yeah, this is your map, Rufflecock, so why don't you pick, out of all your favorites, which Oats one is your favorite? Motesville. Oats and Motesville. I like Bottom Soggy Street. Bottom. Soggy, soggy Bottom just, like, it struck me the moment I saw it. That's all it. All right, great. Let me write this down. Me too. Soggy bottom, cool. Uh, last time we let Sprinkles actually, I mean Bubbles, actually pick the name of the forest, so you get to pick this one. Rasheel, pay attention, because you're going to be next. Right. So, okay. if your map is accurate, it's only a few miles ahead. <clears throat> and, 
As all of you guys walk, well, hold on, we've got Lily Girth, <laughs> Ben in Gardens, Barth Ring, Oats and Motesville, Soggy Bottom, Jurgens, Goff, Moat O'Meal. Yeah, these are all really good, you guys. Very, very fucking good. This makes way for Soggy Bottom Boys. Oh, fuck. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Jesus. Okay, so, after following the trail for a few miles, you start to hear the ringing of a bell. Where's my damn... The sound grows The sound grows louder as the town begins to come into view as you walk. A river flows around this settlement, forming a moat. The village itself is contained within a large wooden wall. You see smoke coming off a few high-pitched rooftops of several buildings. The trail ends before a lowered drawbridge that spans the moat. You three stand at the edge of this drawbridge, staring at this town, hearing the bell ringing loud in your ears, and louder and louder as you get closer. What do you do? Hey, should we just enter, guys? I mean, it's I've, I've never been to Soggy Bottom. I've just only ever seen it on the map. Well, it's not like we have a fucking choice. I mean, you are the king. You kind of have to tell us what to do. I mean, I mean, what's your guys' like opinion? I mean, you my guys opinion like, is I want to go eat some chipmunks, and I don't want to do this. Well, maybe we should already find already cooked or captured chipmunks you could eat in there. Maybe I just know my shoes are going to sound great on the cobblestone. Ooh, yeah, I do want to hear how your shoes sound. They did turn out fantastic. Oh, okay. So we're just we just walk in. That's 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 what we're supposed to do here. I guess so. I mean, what else do you do? You, we don't have a horse. Uh, I uh, uh, okay. Like, do we like mm. announce ourselves? Like royalty? Oh my gosh, let's just go in. in. Well, you are a king. Uh, okay, B Bubble says let's just go in. So let's go in. We're, we're just going to go in. Come on, guys. Let's just, okay. let's just go. All right. No bullshit. No checks. No looking around. No nothing like that. You guys are like, fuck it. Let's just go right inside. Um, Viper said, is a river full of mustache, mustache fish that keep making noises and sounds like check your pockets. No, but good callbacks to the old seasons, my guy. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. In the burning buildings. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> here's what happened. You guys walk across this long drawbridge, your feet rattling on this old, soggy wood. As you walk and get closer to the town, the bell gets louder. Ding, 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 ding. You step foot inside of these large wooden walls. No one is there to greet you. No one says hi. No one says hello, king. This is something that you, my friend, are not used to. You're normally used to the sound of trumpets as you enter a room like you're some kind of rufflecock king Darth Vader ass fucking guy. But it's not there. It does not happen. So, you walk in and look around, all three of you. I want each of you to roll me perception to see what you see more than smoke and a loud bell. Rasheel, very good. I got an 18. You got an 18, 19, 18. Actually, All right. Minus 21. <laughs> oh, okay. Give very good. Hey, give a dice, Ruffle! Viper Mara is making Ruffle re-roll, give a dice. Careful Cantrip! Hello, Careful Cantrip! What's up, buddy? Hey, welcome in here! Hey, you guys didn't know, Careful Cantrip are some of our streamer friends. I enjoy their content, so hey, shout out. Welcome, Careful Hello. Cantrip! Thank you, thank you for fucking joining us today, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you. Alright, you got a re-roll, Ruffle, I'm gonna put you at what? What is it? You got bonuses to perception. 13. 13. Very good. Okay. Now I'm just going to read this aloud. All right. Pay attention to detail time. Are you ready? It's detail time. We're speaking details of this situation that you have just fucking walked into. Before that, though, I'm thirsty. Cheers, bastards. Cheers. 
<sighs> hi, hi, hi. You're all the bestest. No, you're the bestest, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Like the new dices look right, CPU? <laughs> Good alternative. Oh, Jesus. Rasheel, you okay? There was a loud noise and you went out of focus. You good? <laughs> Some of the teeth dropped off my shoes. Okay, no. very good. Are you going to be right. able to fix it? <clears throat> yes, if I get okay. more teeth. We could do that. <laughs> I love killing stuff for bones. All right. Hey, you guys talk a little bit and then look around this town as the smoke is bellowing and the bell is ringing. Ding, 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 ding. All three of you look around. You all see about the same things. You got some pretty good rolls. Stepping inside and looking around, you see large rocks that have seemed to have been dropped on the buildings of this town. Large rocks. Not a simple man could lift these. These were placed here. Not normally. Dropped. Almost. As some kind of siege or weapon. Rufflecock, you know. War. Or something else. Who knows? In the center of this village, as you guys walk closer, there is a square. And in the center of this village square, there is a large crater where something has been removed or dug out. To the left, you see what could be the flicker. Rasheel, you got a 21. The flicker of a candlelight in the top floor of what used to be this inn. Straight ahead, all of you. Past... The crater stands a temple. There is smoke coming from inside and coming out of all the windows of the temple. And the top is a large bell that swings back and forth, ringing louder and louder as you get closer. This thing sucks. <laughs> back and forth ringing in front. Rasheel, you got a 21. In front, you see some kind oh, of movement. In the sky. You got 21. You see bits coming from the sky from careful cantrip. Thank you so much, careful cantrip, for the 100 fucking bits, dude. Thank you so much for supporting the shit show, man, and donating 100 bits. Fucking thank you, bro. Cheers, man. Thank you. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. <sighs> Turkey needs a gong. I do. We have a P.O. box. Someone send me a damn gong. Anyways. In front, Rasheel, you got a 21. You see some kind of movement, something searching. A large wooden box in front of the temple. Its legs like kicking out and it throwing things out of this large box. Past that, there's another building. Ah, well, yeah. Past that, there's a new member who joins the party. Proxima! Yo, Proxima, welcome here to the shit show, my friend. I hope you enjoy your fucking stay. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Cheers. No, Odie. So he said, lol, you know someone will. Wait, know someone will what? What is he talking about? What? He Explain said, yourself. You said, someone send a, you said somebody send a gong, and I said, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to live yeah. with it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Um, past that building, there's another building with a large trading post sign. There is also a couple of living homes and a windmill way atop of a hill. And across the water stands a large stone keep that seems to be almost unaffected, all like these other towns. It's not, definitely not on fire. Um, on an island of its own. Here is the map, you guys. So you guys can see what the hell is going on. I just basically explained everything to you. Um, but here we go. i got to find it. There we are. Boom. Map. Look at that. So this is what we're looking at. Uh, once again, there is an inn with a candle flickering. There is the temple with loud bells and smoke and something in front of it. There's also a large crater in the center of this town as if something has been removed. Those are the important things. What do you do? All right. I think that's been go attacked. To okay. Yes, it does look like it's been seen. Yes, definitely. One at a time, Rasheel. Wait, first, Rado! Oh, Rado. Have I'm a turn good night. For work, Bye, so. Rado. Oh, Rado. Thank you for the 50 bits, dude. Hey, dude, Rado, I hope you have a good night, too, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being here. I hope you sleep well, and I hope work goes fucking awesome. You get out there and you kill it, dude. Thank you for the 50 bits. Thank you for supporting the show. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Love you, too, Rado. All right, Rasheel, you first. What do you do? I want to investigate the inn with the light flickering at the top of the tower. A new member. Okay. The hey, Ellie Spoomples. Spoomples? 
It's hard to not say Spoonples with your name, Ellie, but just Ellie. Oh. Welcome here to the shit show, my friend. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome here. Hey, we hope you enjoy your stay, my friend. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for supporting the show. Cheers, Ellie. Um, okay, you're gonna go investigate the inn. Ruffelcock, what do you do? Alright, I'm gonna follow behind your shield. I'm gonna figure out if I can trust in judgment. What's he doing? You sound weird now. Say again, bro. We can barely hear you. Oh. I'm following behind Rochelle! Okay! <laughs> I imagine you super loud in this town. Ding, 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 ding! I'm following behind Rochelle! Great. Rochelle, All right, Bubbles, what do you do? You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I should probably follow them, but there's a crater and it looks like something got taken out of it. And where there's deep craters, there's probably really cool bones. So I want to go look in the crater. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're splitting Welcome the party. The drunken adventures. Hey, yo, careful, Cantrip with a subscribe. Careful, Cantrip. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Drunken Adventures League and being a part of our show. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Dance. Welcome, yo, careful, Cantrip. Thank you so much, my friend. Dude, thank you so much for subscribing and joining the Drunken Adventures League. Dude, you're fan fucking tastic. Thank you so much, dude. We appreciate that a lot. So thank you. Yeah. I put on socks before I come to Twitch just because I know I'm going to be doing weird shit like this. You know what I mean? And Twitch don't like feet if you didn't know that. So. <laughs> thank you, Careful Cantrip. Cheers, brother. Thank you, man. I try to be TOS friendly. Our show <laughs> is like on the border. So we have to do what we have to do. You know what I mean? You know what I'm fucking saying? That's right. Whew, it's hot. Is it hot in here? Okay, yes. we're splitting the party. We're background changing real quick. Everybody want to do a circle? Can everyone do a circle? Is that a thing? Can y'all spin? Spin for me. Background change. Okay, here we are. We're now in the village. I'm going to have to change her in every other scene too. We'll do that. He ignored me. I did not. What did you say, Viper? Wait, who's that? Yeah, he ignored... Bad turkey. What are you talking about? Wait a minute! What? When did I ignore you? You better repeat what you said. Thanks for the dice, Spoonples. Yeah, Turk, I wish I had one fourth of your energy at any point in my life. Hey, you know... Hang out long enough. Maybe it'll rub off. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Facts. Whew! Okay. New town, new area. So, we're splitting the party, at least for a little bit for now. Okay, so I'm gonna go to these two, and then I'll come back to you, Bubbles, okay? Oh, actually, while they are walking over to the inn, investigating the flickering of this light, Bubbles, you walk over to the crater. I want you, you're gonna look down at the crater, you're trying to find bones, right? So go on ahead and roll me a perception. Let's see what you can see in there, yeah? <sighs> Booze and chemicals work for me. Hey, Bafrin, what's up, dude? Welcome. Can't even ring a bell properly. Well, do we I have the thing for you? Eight. Grouch Couch Merch! <laughs> Grouch Couch Merch will not help you ring a bell, or it might. We don't know you. Get your yeah, Grouch Couch right. Merch today! Fuck, you, Viper, OB. that's hilarious. That's hilarious. I may steal that. I may have to steal that. Good shit, Viper. Ooh, that's funny. Oh, I only got a six. <laughs> you know, six. Okay, so... You look down at this hole, you see shards of tiny little black rocks of where this thing has been removed. This hole is like six Your feet deep. Hey, you got a plus three from Odie. Look at that. Okay, so... Thank you. You look down in there. Yeah, the hole is about six feet deep. There aren't any bones. It's not what you're looking for. Um... But you could definitely, when you're kind of inspecting this hole, it looks like something large. Go alone. Take this. Hey, Boffrin's given bubbles yeah. an item. Um, first item of the night. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, Boffrin, dude. In this hole, you also are going to find an item. But as you're inspecting it, it looks like something large dug it out or lifted it out or something like that. You're like looking at it. You're like, what the heck? What is this thing? And there's like, 
The hole isn't shaped like a circle. It's kind of like rigid and all weird. And there are a bunch of tiny little black rocks, like shards of whatever was in here. That is there. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Random item for bubbles. It's a giant worm turd. Could be. You don't know with this show. Hey, man, shit could be whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. Ooh, this is cool. Here we go. Phase axe. Look at that thing. That looks wild. Ooh. You're getting an axe, Bubbles. Hell yeah. Ephraim Bofrin. How cool is that? Shit could be shit. That's right. We're going to flip her over. I'm going to read it up here, actually, because it's hard to read down there. This crystalline battle axe seems to be almost transparent when looking at the bladed head from different angles. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. This weapon has the thrown property with a normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60. The first time on your turn when you hit a target with a ranged attack using this axe, you can force another creature within 10 feet of that target to make a save, a deck save, on a failed Save, the creature takes another 1d8 force damage. If you can see the axe and are within 60 feet of it, you can use a bonus action to return the axe to your outstretched hand. When you do, the weapon phases through any obstacle in its path that is no more than five feet thick or made of lead. It's a goddamn Thor axe, you kidding me? You throw it, it's got like force damage, like, and then you can be like, return! Okay, before you get this item, we're going to say it's made of, like, cool black obsidian, just like of what you see inside of this crater. And before you get this item, I need a return word from you, and then I need you to say it out loud, and then the axe will fly into your hand. Um, this axe does require Bax. attunement. What? Axe backs. Axe backs. That's your word? It's coming back, yeah. Axe backs. Okay, fair enough. Everyone here, get used to hearing that a lot. All right. This item does require attunement. Okay, so for now, it's just a normal axe. But once you attune to this shit and spend enough time with it, you could then start using all of his really cool magical properties. Okay? So you say, axe backs, and this axe comes out of the hole and lands into your hand. And you feel this weird force power, and all of a sudden it's like, ah. Once again, the phase axe. If you would like to see... The details of this, uh, check the magical item section in the Discord. I will be posting a picture of it before the I end of the night. I just want to point out that I'm slowly turning into the Avengers. I got Bubble Smash, and now I got the, the Thor hammer. Axe. Oh, my God. You need a cool Captain America shield now. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Um, she lives with me, so I'll just give this to you in a minute. But there you go. So that's what you find. Not much else um, that I'm imagining. You're going to start walking back towards the inn to meet up with them. But while all that is happening, you two lads, Rufflecock, Rasheel, you ready? Yes. Yes. Cool. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. What the hell? That looks great. Hey, that looks fucking great. Um, so, you two lads. Step into this inn. As you get closer, you see that it's smashed. Some giant rock has smashed through the ceiling of this thing, and you can see the carnage. This inn is not in very good shape. Even the two front doors are kind of knocked off. As you take your first couple steps inside, both of you look around. You could see that this room is strewn with wreckage. A rock punched through the roof and landed here, destroying the dining table. Lying on the floor in the middle of this room looks like a dead goblin with a crossbow bolt sticking out of its chest. And you can see the feathers on the crossbow bolt are bright green. You guys stand in this large dining room. To your left, there are stairs that go upwards. And behind the bar, there's another door that goes to the back. Could be the kitchen. You don't know. What do you two do? I would like, like to investigate the goblin body further. Oh. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Roll me a medicine check, my friend. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Bubbles, you begin approaching the inn now as well. Um... Uh, first, though, uh, you're just noticing... Wait, what? What happened? Bubble smash, bubble slash, axe backs. Fuck yeah. An axe, very correct weapon for a barbarian. Wait, wait, his name is Rufflecock? Yes, but you spelled it wrong. 
But yes, his name is King Rufflecock, and it's canon. This is the character from our previous season that came back. It's really cool. It's a stupid thing, but it's What's cool. What's this? An adventure <clears throat> that you are not playing. Rachel, it's Rachel. Yeah, best name ever, to be honest. Only made by the costume. Hell yeah. Like, how dead. Rachel and Bubbles. Yeah, love the names. Wait. Hell yeah, thank you. Uh, to the rooster, King of Wings. All right. Bofrin's giving you a potion. So the way that potions work, Bofrin... In the tabletop to keyboard, our lovely friend Dustin. The way that those wait, you're not your boyfriend. Sorry. The way that those work is you get to describe a potion. Any potion you want. Could be potion of strength, potion of healing, potion of whatever. And then you give it to him. And it's his choice if he wants to take it or drink it or not or whatever. Also, Bofrin, sorry, your name is... What is what is Dustin's side account name? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It starts with a B. Gladys what is it? Maximus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gladys. And he has a B. He has a B one too. Yeah. So I, I get... I'm dyslexic. I'm sorry. But anyways, you get to pick any kind of item, Bofrin. I know who you are. I'm fucking stupid. Um, and then you... Any kind of potion, you give it to him. That's the way that that command works, my friend. So... Yes, could be strong, could be cool, could be potion of strength, potion of invisibility, could be whatever. I am not Dustin. I got a better I'm beard. Yeah, a better yeah. Beard. Yes, you do, Buffered, my friend. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, hey, Jeff's beard was not a thing. Jeff's beard was like a thing. Is that still a thing? I always yeah. thought Dustin's beard was better. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so you got a three, Rasheel, on the yes. body of the goblin. Yes. Well, I mean, it's a five. Give a dice. Hey, oh, there not. you go. Maybe not. Well, he's re-rolling. Rufflecock, what do you do, my friend? I want to go right. to that back door behind the bar, and I'm going to just kick that bitch in. That's a okay, lot cool. You do that, and we will get to that in a second. That's a two. Rasheel, it's even worse. Yeah. Okay, there is actual information I could have given you here, but because you got a two... There's a crossbow bolt. It's not a bow, it's a crossbow. The tips on the crossbow, like the feathers, are bright green. The goblin's bleeding. It's definitely not has been alive. Oh! You got a plus three. That's a five. That's a little better. The body is still warm, maybe? That's all I can give you. On a five. That's it. All right. Yes. And the arrow I, tips I, are bright I, green. I just Your dice roll. <gasps> a bra, another plus three yeah, from OD Mel. Hey, hey, um, uh, oh, Steve, Ellie, I'm sorry, but Rufflecock hasn't rolled yet. He hasn't rolled anything yet, so you can't give him a dice when he hasn't rolled anything. What is he gonna re-roll? I don't know. He's not rolled anything. Sorry, I was just trying to see how things work. Oh, okay, for sure, totally for sure. Okay, you got you got another plus three, Rasheel. That means that. This body Your definitely is brand new. Tampa. 12. Brand new dead. Like, this body is just warm, just died less than five minutes ago. All right? This crossbow bolt in the back has been customized, okay? You could tell that it has, like, poison on the tip of it because you rip it out of the goblin's back, and the end tips are, like, bright green, which are not normal for crossbow bolts. But this body is warm. Like, it legitimately just died. Like, blood is still coming out of it as we speak. Yes. Yes. The floor seems to be made out of floor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bubbles, you enter the dining room to see Rachel, Rasheel, checking out a goblin body, and then you see Rufflecock kick in the door behind the bar. Where do you go to? What do you do? I want to go to the body because I want to see if there's, I mean, fresh goblin means fresh bones. Oh, this is true. I... Uh, I'm going to pop out each one of its teeth. Yeah, you take and the I... teeth and I'll take the rest. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. 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 Hey, wait, this you aren't there woman. yet. You aren't there yet. Wait a minute. You don't know. You're at, you don't know. You aren't there yet. <laughs> yeah, you just kicked in a door. All right, so we'll come to you two and we'll do a roll and we'll do that whole scene in a second. But first, Rufflecock, you kick in this door. You look around to the left, you look to the right. This is a kitchen, this room that you're in. I don't know why you rolled. I didn't tell you to roll anything. 
what's that? You kick in this door, you look to the left, you look to the right. This is a kitchen. They're like food stocked all about. But this place has been ransacked, like thrashed. You look over to the left and you see you see a goblin alive. What? Yeah, a kitchen. Yeah. Not a kitchen. You're afraid of kitchens. I forgot about that because you're a chicken. So what do you do? Hi! You hide. <laughs> okay. See it, Rasheel. Rasheel, Bubbles, y'all see Rufflecock kicking this door, see that it's a kitchen, and then dive and hide behind the bar because it's a kitchen. That's what happens. <laughs> There's an excuse All right, for Rash everything with him. What a weird Yeah, there is. A little bit. All right, Rasheel, I want you to... This is a weird roll. I would say dexterity to punch out his teeth. So either dexterity or survival to punch out the teeth of this here goblin while Rufflecock is hiding. You could do it out of his range. He doesn't see you doing it, right? Um, Bubbles, what are you doing then? I, well... With, with his permission, I would like to actually just pick up the goblin and smash it against the wall because it's the quickest way to get to the bones. Okay, so we'll do a strength roll. Natty 20! Yo, first one of the season, boy! What's up? Natty 20, first one of the season. Yo, so hype! I'm so hype! I'm so hyped. Yo, this is so cool. First one of the season. Were you here for the moment that the first Natty 20 was rolled during season nine? Were you? Tell me the truth. Can we get some hype in chat for the Natty goddamn 20? Can we get some okays in chat for the Natty 20? Fuck hype, fuck Fs. Let's get some okays, because everything is fine. Oh. Ah! Ah! All the teeth. I hit all the teeth. Okay! He okay! He okay! That's right. Oh my god. First of all, Mr. Abstract is lover. Weenus, thank you for the 50 bits. Cheers! First 90 20 of the season goes to Rasheel when he's pulling the teeth out of a goblin's mouth. Whew! Yes. Pretty good. Alright, you do this. Ooh. All those skill I checks and 90 20 20s. Got a 19, that's pretty good. Skill checks and natty 20s street. technically don't really mean anything, but Coins, because right? this is Drunks and Dragons, I'm gonna give it to you. Whew, I'm gonna breathe. All the teeth. All the teeth. Oh, it said it right. Oh, Yo, dude, that's great. fucking a. Yeah, dude, it said it right. Dude, Odie, oh, good job. Natty 20. Yeah, you. natty 20. Thank you. Oh my god, 500. Five. Hundred from Ron, dude. Communist Raptor, five hundred, bro. You were here for this moment. Thank you for supporting the show with five hundred bits, bro. Thank you so much, Ronnie, dude. Hey, bro. Holy shit, five hundred. Thank you so much, dog. We appreciate that. We appreciate it. Okay, this is good. I don't know what. I, what do you want from me? What do you want? <laughs> Thank you, man. You're awesome. Thank you so much. This is why all the chairs are broken in the studio. Yes, yes it is. Whoo! Think of it a 20, I think of it a 500, Ron, dude. Cheers, man, thank you. Much love, thank dude, right back at you, brother. my name correctly, Odie. When I take over this world, Whew. you'll be the last to die. All right, sorry you guys for railroading or, 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 or unroading us, distracting because- To the drunken adventure league. The Prime Sub! Mm -hmm. Underscore Rain just resubbed for 14 months. What is up, nerds? Yo, what is up, nerds? Yo, CPU, thank you. Thank you so much for the Hello. Prime Sub and continuing to be a part of the Drunken Adventures League for 14 months. I'm out of breath. I would give you a hype big old dance, but I'm out of breath right now. That was a very intense moment, but just know that I love you, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for 14 months, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Prime sub. Whew. Sir, I'm not a nerd. I'm smarties. Okay. So, sorry for distracting the show there for a minute. But that was intense. It was very intense. Okay, so, you get all the teeth out of this mouth, Rasheel. How many teeth are in a normal mouth? You get that many. You gotta Google it. I don't know how many. Does chat know how many teeth are in a mouth? I don't know. I'm missing too many. 32? 32? 
You get exactly that many teeth from a goblin. Right. Boom. Done. I don't even know what Google is. Odie does. Odie, tell us! Dungeons and Dents. Yo, swear to God, Ska, bro. Hell yeah, dude, what the fuck? Dungeons and Dentists. That's what Rasheel's goal is. One day he's gonna become a dentist. Who knows? Okay, fuck. then! As soon as you pull the teeth out of the mouth of this goblin, you collect all of them bubbles. Got a 19. You swing this goblin and smash 22. it up against... 22. Smash it up against the wall of this inn. And as you do, a bunch of things fall off the shelves. And a bunch of other things kind of like rattle. Which kind of shocks Rufflecock. You stand up and look to see a splattered goblin up against the wall. You fucking shattered this thing. What was your plan? You like smashed it. What are you gonna do now? Well, it makes it ex Well, now I'm gonna go and dig through the corpse for the bones. Okay. You gotta make it explode a little bit so you can get to the bones. You do that. You get a couple of bones from this here goblin. What are you gonna do with them? Yay. I'm gonna put them in my pocket. Duh. Okay. You're gonna keep them for later. All right, cool. Rufflecock, you're now standing behind this bar. You seen what just have transpired. What do you do? What? Say again. I'm so what? Scared. I'm so scared. That's, I need to overcome my fear. I'm gonna walk over. I'm gonna close the door to the kitchen. Nice. And you then, do that. I'm gonna be like, bro. That was a close one. And I'm gonna turn around and be like, Ruffles, Rochelle, what the fuck? I leave you alone for two seconds and you're just. Dismembering bodies and shit. What do we say about this? Fuck you. It's in my nature. What else do you think we're gonna do, Rochelle? You are banned from saying fuck. Well, yes, I murder people for a living. Get off my back. Yeah, but I'm gonna stay on your back. I'm gonna be all up in your back, Rochelle, until you become. Straight and narrow. Do you want to go to dentistry school? Because it seems like you got a thing for the for the teeth, man. You could actually make money by collecting teeth being a dentist. Literally. You think I can collect money collecting bones? Eventually, if we find the right medical practice, I don't see why not. I assume that I eventually Antoxico will need museums and anthropologists. But right so now, we can't just be destroying goblins and a random Our, fucking uh, that we've never been in. Our chat here, Viper and Odie, they're legitimately looking up what theoretical number of teeth a goblin would have in its mouth. Viper says the goblins have two rows of teeth, according to the page that they found. So double uh, human standard. So that means that you got 64 teeth if we're going to do that. So uh, here's the deal, though. This is... This is Intoxica, okay? So we are creating this world together. We can make it be or say whatever the fuck that we want. So what we're going to do right now, I want um, Odie or Viper, you guys are mods, will you please start a poll, okay? Put 32, 64, 16, and whatever other number that you want in the poll. Let's vote to see how many 69. teeth a goblin would have in Intoxica. Could be 69? Don't know. Start a poll, please. Let's see how many teeth Rasheel gets. Um, Rufflecock, continue on with your speech. I'm trying to better enough of you. So, so, no more dismemberment. I can't promise that. Then, the curse will pain you every time that you I mean, take I'll try not bones to. from flesh. <laughs> no, 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 that's not fair! That's really not fair! Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> you just made them... You made you them so mad. You can't from me! This is fucking bullshit! I'm going to murder everything that I see now! Uh. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! I said I wanted the teeth! Okay. I said it five times! All right, so DM rules, Rufflecock, you cannot do overlying commands. They have to be in the moment. You cannot say forever you cannot do this thing. It will not work. It's like a one-time, so like 
If you see a body, you have to tell them in that moment, no dismembering, then they will listen. But if you're not there for it to happen, then they could do it. This is DM rules. This is the way that the community thinks. So you could tell them no, and they will take damage, but you have to get to it before they do, right? Um, you got to be you, on the yeah, ball. I really lost no. my cool for a second. Oh, gosh. I know. There was goddamn chaos. He said no, and y'all said, what? Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, a couple things from chat, though. Uh, careful Cantrip is heading out. Careful Cantrip, thank you so much for joining us tonight, my friend. If y'all don't know, they're also streamers, and uh, I didn't haven't gotten to check out the stream yet before I was late today. Hey, but make sure to hop over and show our friends some love, you guys. Uh, hopefully, they'll be a grand new member of the community. It'll be fucking fantastic. Um, Y'all are hilarious. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Turk, make them run into skeletons. Oh, God. Bubbles would be happy. We'll see. We'll see. Good night, careful cantrip. Also, high substances. What did you get here? Did I miss it? I must have. Poll is up. All right. Y'all get to vote on how many teeth goblins would have. Okay, so... You guys are now standing in this dining room. There's blood all about. Your buddy has just collected teeth. Rufflecock has discovered a kitchen and gotten scared. You're now standing here. There is a large rock in the center of this dining room that has smashed the table. There's a dead goblin. There are stairs that go up, and there is still the door that goes to the kitchen. We are going to take our break, and when we come back, we're going to see what you guys do with what the fuck is still happening Right now, right? So, uh, before we go, if you guys are brand new around here, look at you standing there by yourself, Rufflecock. If you're new around here, we do this thing called thumbnail poses, where you guys can throw out random poses in chat, and these guys will do their best to pose as those poses. Then, that pose may be the actual thumbnail pose for the episode, and you can screenshot these and make memes out of them or do whatever the fuck you like with these photos and then please send them to us because we love a good laugh of course um so if you have a random pose for them throw it into chat and they will do their best even if it's like a um yeah a, <laughs> a specific pose for one character throw it into chat and we will do it uh viper says rasheel extract some teeth from who for, pretend that you're doing it Very good, very good. Hell yeah. I uh, was thinking the same. What else we got here? Combative king or wait. Rachel, fight the tooth fairy. She's trying to take your boots. <laughs> it's fucked up. The chat has decided, Rasheel, you got 64 teeth out of this goblin. Congratulations. Yes. Chat has yes. decided. It is, it is now canon. Lottery. It's oh, canon in the intoxicant oh, world that goblins that. have 64 oh. teeth. Yeah. My oh my god, the teeth emotes. Fucking. Fucking Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Okay, oh. Rufflecock, you just seen a kitchen and you're scared. Bubbles, you just collected a brand new weapon and you're excited. Uh, Rasheel, uh, you are trying to stab someone in the back. Go! Very good. That's a lot of chompers. Hell yeah, it is. All right, guys. Look, we'll be right back here in about 10 minutes. So don't go anywhere. Thank you so much for already fucking being here. We appreciate you. While we're gone, hit the bathroom, take a piss, fill up your flagons, grab some snacks, and come right back with some more bullshit because it's going to be awesome. Uh, Rachel, fight the two for you. You did try. We're going to be right back. We're going to see what the hell these guys are going to do with the situation that I have thrown them into. So we'll be right back, you guys. Please don't go anywhere. We love you. Bye. Wee, 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 wee. Welcome back to Drunks and Dragons, everybody. This is the show where the players are guaranteed to be more intoxicated than their characters, and where you, my friends, can have an influence on what the fuck happens in the show while it happens live. Thank you so much for being here. You guys, you're fucking fantastic. Before I do a little bit of a recap, it's tradition around here for all of us to say cheers and fill up our damn old fucking flagon. So, you guys, fucking cheers. Welcome back. How the hell are you yeah. feeling? Cheers, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're doing some battles and things <clears throat> in chat, and I seen that Viper beat Odie. Wow. What are the odds? What are the odds? Yeah, how you guys feeling? Rubblecock? 
Feeling pretty good, pretty feisty. An adventurer wants to loot. Can't check on this game, but I'm okay. Two. Ooh, Maritime Gamer's entering for loot, but first, cheers, man. Fucking cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Cheers. Mmm. An adventurer Blueberry, blackberry. wants loot. Time Who's that, two. then? Communist Raptor Deed, Maritime. I got you under here is Nate. Raptor, got you under two. Both of you guys are at four now. Our giveaway will be towards the end of September. The first giveaway of the season. Much excite, much excite. So you can't enter for loot if you want to. Um, also, I'm I'm sad, you guys. No one has made anyone draw a card yet. Not once tonight. What's going on with y'all? What's the deal? Y'all two en enveloped in the story? That's cool. Just want you to know I've noticed. I'm okay with it. It's still acting strangely. Okay. Maybe you gotta reset that bitch. I'll see what happens. I'm back, mofo. Got off work early enough to swing by. Raw card from work the early enough to swing. I work with the point. Though, got a long ass stream myself tomorrow. Well, hey, dude, fuck yeah. Draw a card. Hell yeah, Viper. You want me to draw? Cool. But before we do that, we're going to get back into our dang old story to see what the hell the deal is. So far, our heroes, Rasheel, Rufflecock, and Bubbles, traveled through a road and they made it all the way to. What's the name of the town? Damn it, where are my notes? Soggy they made it all the way to Soggy Bottom, only to get there to see that the town is under shambles. It's not the way that it should be. There have been large rocks dropped somehow on top of all of these houses. The temple is ringing a bell super loud. Ding, 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 ding. There's smoke and flames coming out of all these buildings. And all three of them decided to go into the inn to investigate, only to find a dead goblin and a kitchen. All three of them now stand inside of this dining room with this large rock that has fallen. To the left, there are stairs that go up to all of the rooms. And behind the bar, there's a door that goes to the kitchen. What are you guys going to do, huh? What's the deal? Welcome back. That's where we return. What are you thinking? Well, we haven't uh, actually investigated any of these rocks yet, correct? You have not. I'd like to investigate the rock in the kitchen or the dining room. Dining room, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll me insight, my friend. Hey, y'all. What's okay. up, Tempest? I have a plus four to insight. No shit. 18. Very good, very, very good, very good, very good, very good. Excited about that. Okay, so 18, you look at this large rock. It's legitimately um, about this size. I mean, it's like five feet around. It's big as shit. Like, it's a big old rock. You couldn't lift it if you tried. And you look at it, it's a normal stone kind of like rock, you know, but it's not like anything you've kind of like seen before it seems like it it's not native to this land like how the hell did it get here but it's very ginormous it doesn't have any kind of magical properties that you could tell or nothing weird like that but uh, it's definitely not native to this here land hell yeah mm. so what do you guys do i'm a snake up the stairs. Okay, roll me stealth. Here's my to my DM card. All right, here it is. This card was made by Odie. It's called What Would Nana Say? Sayings of wisdom are heard by all players. They're said by chat for five minutes. This is the way to inform meta knowledge to the players. So in your guys' minds, you're going to hear phrases randomly for the next five minutes. I am basically going to be reading things that chat want to say to you to inform you about things. Okay? Everyone in chat, just use Nana and then type out your thing, and I will read it out loud to them. Rufflecock, you got a five. You are loud. Going up these stairs. <laughs> Actually, I got a 10. A 10. Okay, so you're not too loud, but you're definitely not very stealthy. You're like, eh, you're walking up these stairs. You get to the top. You see there's a hallway with three doors up there. Bubbles, what are you doing? It's actually going to go to the kitchen with uh, Rachel because I want to see if there's food. All right. Smart. Rachel? I'll go into the kitchen. Okay. All right. Both you guys go to the kitchen. 
You push open these doors that Rufflecock pushed open before when he was scared. You look around. This is a kitchen. There are food and things about, but it is in shambles, like as if it has been searched. And it's all kinds of things. You look over to the left, though, and you see a goblin searching through the rubble of this inn's pantry and stuffing things inside of a sack that it has. And the sack is almost too heavy, it seems, for this goblin to even carry. It has not noticed either of you yet, but this goblin is alive. What do you do? Well, he looks nice and alive right now. It'd be a shame if he wasn't. (laughs) Okay, so from chat. I don't know if we should Stop trying to ring know. the damn bell. People are trying to sleep. You all hear in your heads. Who said that? I don't know. What the hell is that? Well, anyway, <laughs> I want the goblin sack, so I don't know if we should kill him or not, but I definitely want his sack. You want his sack? Yeah. Kitchens I reveal much. Teeth. Don't hurt Urk. What do you guys do? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. What do you guys do? I'd like to intimidate the goblin to drop whatever he has. Me too, because I have a really high intimidation. Okay, so I want you to intimidate however you're going to intimidate. Act it out, and then you could roll me an intimidation. And if you want to do like a duo intimidation, I'm cool with that too. But then both of you got to roll. Yeah. One in the sack, two in the hands. I'm going to continue to like climb him up the stairs. Oh. Well, I need I you to no do what you're going to do and then oh. roll, yeah? Yeah. I was going to be gonna... like... So... <clears throat> so, I'm actually going it? to be using a spell for this intimidation. Ooh, what is it? It's called Thumaturgy. I think so. Ooh. And basically what it does is it manifests a minor wonder, a sign of supernatural power within range. You create one of the following magical effects. Your voice booms up three times as loud as... uh, Yes, three times as loud. Or you can cause flames to flicker bright and dim or change color for one minute. Right. Or you can cause harmless tremors on the ground. Eggs, I'm bread, going. milk, dish soap, a chicken for dinner, ice cream, baking powder. What is the I'm weight going. of an unladen swallow? Together, Bubbles. I'm going to cause a minor tremor when I enter and step closer to the goblin. So it's like... Everything is shaking as I inch closer towards him. Whose fan is that? Bubbles, I think we can hear your fan all of a sudden for some weird reason. Okay, you're going to inch closer to him. It's like... And then what do you do? I say this is the part where you either run or die. It's your choice. Okay. Roll me initiative. Roll me intimidation. Let's do it. It's not too bad. Plus, Bubbles is nine. I had a nine, yeah. And I just want to bang my shield and yell at him. Okay, what are you going to yell? Do it. I want your sack! No! (laughs) Very good, very good. Okay, what pluses do you have for shield? I have plus zero to intimidation. But I was hoping the spell would do something for me. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It definitely does. You step forward. Thum! I want your sack! Dun, 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 dun. This is the part where you leave or you die. The goblin looks over to you. You can see it's definitely a female goblin. She looks over. She sees you two. She drops what she's doing. And she kind of like screams like... And she drops her sack, and she runs through a large hole that is in the wall of this uh, inn from where a rock has been dropped. And she kind of, like, skirts out between the hole and leaves her sack there on the ground and, and runs away. Yay. See, I'm adding that to Spooky's chat to quotes. Her. Wait. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. 
sings Ghostbusters. If I was only a few years younger, I'd tap that. <laughs> okay. There's a sack now on the ground. What do you guys do? I want to look through the sack. Get your sack, Bubbles. All right. This sack contains several muffins, a block of cheese, a cooked chicken, a frying pan, an iron pot, a bullseye lantern, two flasks of oil, flasks of oil, a set of cook's utensils, a jar of cloves, and a jar of saffron. But There's it is so really heavy. Because of all the stuff in this sack, it's definitely heavy then, for one of you to carry alone. Mm, so you must pick some stuff. Then how about I stuff. drink my strength potion and I take the whole thing? Okay, hell yeah. How long does this strength potion last? Google time! Strength potion 5e. This is from last week. Someone gave Bubbles a strength potion. Hey, did did Bofferin specify on the potion he was giving? Did that happen? Well, no. Or was he mad no. that I called him Dustin and he left? <laughs> no. Draw a card from the deck of drunken things. Hey, Hello, someone's drawing. Who's drawing a card, Shinobi? Who is it? Um, why the hell did I put batteries to the damn remote? You will never be the son of a shepherd or the daughter of a cheesemaker. Bubbles. Okay, so Bubbles is getting a card. But first, when you drink this potion, your strength score changes for one hour. Okay, so you're going to get a strength of 25 for one hour, which will allow you to carry this bag for one hour, the sack. Hey, that's enough With time With no to help. Distribute us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Okay, back to Rufflecock up in the second floor by himself. Um, I'm assuming, uh, well, first, where are you guys going to go after this? Are you leaving and going upstairs? Are you bouncing? What are you doing? Before I go to him, well, I'm, just so I know. I want to I wanna yeah. sit and eat this chicken real quick. I have to stare okay. at Rufflecock all day, and I can't eat him, so this is perfect. All right, Bubbles, you sit on the floor and begin eating the chicken. And Rasheel leaves to go upstairs to meet up with Rufflecock. You do that! Now, the two of you stand there on this upstairs hallway. There are three doors. Two on the right, one on the left. All three of them are shut. What do you guys do? Can I remember which uh, way the building was facing and like what window had the candlelight in it? Yes! Roll me a wisdom check. Let's see. Uh, specifically, Rufflecock, watch for the mustache man in the white ten. suit. You got a ten. Uh, your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. King's lead shouting is an indication of lost control. Do better! Oh yeah, ruffle my cock. Okay, uh, we're done. <laughs> Nana time is over. So... You got a 10. You think you remember that by the window and everything you could tell that the candlelight from talking with Rasheel, you think it is the only door that is on the left. You think. Right. You ready to go in there and not kill something, Rasheel? <laughs> Bubbles, you eat this taxes? whole chicken and then you fall asleep in the kitchen for 1d6 minutes. Roll me 1d6, please. <laughs> Five minutes. You fall asleep until eight twenty or eight thirty-three. Okay, Rufflecock, Rasheel. Well, can we continue? Can, we, uh, can this be considered a short rest or no? <laughs> no. Dang. No, because it's like a magical yeah, well, falling asleep. Like someone forced this to happen. Well, I mean, no short rest. All right, Rufflecock, Rasheel, what do you do? Well, what if it tries to kill us? Then can I kill it? Only on my direct command in that moment. But for right now, you're just gonna go there and open the door. Ready. Jesus, okay. Let's get in there, I guess. Let's do it. Okay, you guys just gonna fucking slam this door open and see what happens? Yes. Okay. You do that! You kick open this door, and it slams open. You two stand in the hallway, and as you stand there, the door slams wide open, 
and it seems quiet in there. You haven't stepped foot through the doorway yet, but it seems quiet. You look forward and you can see that there's a large hole in the middle of the floor where the rock fell through the roof and through the floor into the dining room. You can see that there is indeed a candle flickering in the corner of this room. There are curtains blowing in the wind. There's a large bed. Everything kind of seems to be in shambles. You stand there. What do you do? I'm going to check for traps. Ooh. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm into that. Uh, roll me perception. I lived! Yes, you did. It's a five. A three. Five. There isn't any traps that you can see. Alrighty then. Ruffle well, cock. What do you do? Uh, after he see, can't see any traps, that's what he says. And I, yes. I trust in Rasheel. Uh, uh, trying to be better. Give a dice. Ah, you get to uh, re-roll it there, Rasheel, from Viper. Look at that. Thank you, Viper, for the re-roll. That's an eight. All right. There still are no traps that you can see. All what do right. you do, Rufflecock? Well, I would like to, like, go on the outer side of the hole around to go and extinguish that candle, because that's going to burn a house down, and that's terrible. We don't want <laughs> Okay, so as you step into this room slowly to go around the edge, an arrow with bright green crossbow bolt tips comes right in the wall right next to your head and sticks there, as if it was some kind of a warning. And then you're still left standing there in the barely lit room, and it's quiet. I would like to speak out. Hello. Who dares shoot at this asshole next to me? Roll me a persuasion or something. See if it will respond. They will. It will. Who knows? You just say, praise be the booty. Legion members would reply. <laughs> That's a 10. All right. No one replies. But you step into this room, Rasheel, as well, and try to look around to see maybe where this arrow came from. Rufflecock, Rasheel, roll me perception. More dice rolls. Let's do it. Hell yeah, dude! It's a 13. 13 for me as well. Hell yeah. Okay. So, um, you look across this room Give and behind the dice. curtains. Oh, Rasheel got to re-roll, son. <clears throat> oh, <God>. one. <laughs> All right, you don't see shit, son. You're looking in here. You can't see through your mask. You don't know what the deal is. Rufflecock, you look across this room, and you see hiding behind the curtains with a large crossbow. There is a blonde human female with this large crossbow standing there. She steps out as you make eye contact with her. You can see that she has a flying snake kind of coiled around her left arm. It's like a bright green snake. She's holding this crossbow. And she looks over and she goes, Why are you here? Are you here to fight me? Are you against me? Now, before we move no, on, I need chat. Use the name a thing command and name this woman uh, whatever you want. Throw some names into chat. Use the chat name a thing and name her. She's a human blonde female with a crossbow and a green flying snake. Bubbles, you wake up. What brings you here? Why are you here? That depends. How many teeth do you have? No. No, Rasheel. No teeth. Not now. She could be helpful. With her teeth. Okay? Say it with me. Okay? With the teeth. With the teeth. Thank you. All right. Hello, 
Madam, my name is King Rufflecut, and I've come here to Soggy Bottom to help turn the lands around. I need information about what happened here at Soggy Bottom. Why is there so much siege, destruction, <sighs> and what happened to all the guard? The, Why? the leadership. Why should I trust you? Who even are you? The king? What? Uh, I thought the king died. King. What are you talking? Who are you? Who is this skeleton guy? I'm your death. Rashil, uh, hi. Who is the time? What? Oh, wait. Here we All go. Right. Hold on. I almost forgot this. Oh, no. Why is that closed? Oh, because I updated drivers. Hold on. Keep talking, you guys. What do you say to her? No, I, it's, it's, um, yes, we are, I am, I, I, Rufflecock, am the new king of Intoxica. We have teared down all of the old Mad King's, uh, armies and trust and support, and I am traveling the countryside, adventuring with the companions that need, I need protection. I'm not the strongest guy, but I'm trying to be a better guy. Companions better. is a strong word. Let's not use that. Yes, we are the we've, best uh, of friends. We got a few names here. Rasheel, you get to pick the one this time. You've got Aderna, Mara, Anita, Dick and me. <laughs> You've got uh, ah. Olga Bumblethump. My dice box keeps fucking up for some reason. Make sure you don't move the your window. When you move your window, it moves your window capture. I'm not. All right. I think I have to go with Dick and me. Okay. This is Anita. Dick and me. All right. <clears throat> Great. Who's okay? Well, if you really are the king and you are who you say you are, also this is the picture of her right here, if you couldn't tell. If you really are who you say you are, you really are the king, then fine. Look, I am a traveling monk, you see? And I just came to this town and, uh, you know, I, I was just, you know, I... Um, well, she kind of like stumbles over her words a whole bunch. She's like, look, I was a guest and I got knocked out by the falling debris from the ceiling. They got left behind after the strange attack. I was going to escape, but there was a sudden arrival of a bunch of goblins. Have you been to the temple? There's a temple? Yes. Oh, not. hold on, actually. Rashil, did you know there was a temple that we should have gone to? Motherfucker, yes, there there's a bell ringing from it. Yeah. A bell. Right, right, right. The bell. The, yeah, the bell. Yes, the one that we saw when we came in. Okay, okay. So, I don't know much about what happened, but I do know all these large stones started falling from the sky. They told me when I came here, there was a sheet on the door. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's on a lot of the doors. But in case of emergency, the plan is for the town to run to the temple across the river. If they can't do that, the plan is to go to the caves in the hills. I've read it a few times because you see I'm, I'm pretty cautious. I'm a cautious lady, me, Anita. Anita Dick and me. I'm pretty cautious. And uh, yeah, but I, I got knocked out. So it didn't happen and i've just been holed up here by myself kind of killing goblins as they come oh that's hot well then how about you come with us and we'll go over to the temple together i am not going anywhere with you i'm gonna stay here where i know it's safe but you can go and maybe once you stop the ringing of that temple bell then i'll come out and go wherever you want me to go i do know that there, we're all supposed to go on the other side of the temple, but this town is littered with goblins, and I'm not leaving. Well, we I this, guess 
Would you say these goblins are good goblins or bad goblins? I, I really need a wrong answer. That's a that's a weird ass fucking question, guy. Look, um, bad. They were attacking people. What the fuck? What's going on here? I, it's just a very valid question, apparently, in this part. So I'm just. You know, trying to get all sides of the story before I enact my mighty kingly justice upon the uh, uh, entire land of the uh, uh, tri-state area. Okay. So look, you go. All right, I'll be here. All right, staying safe. And you, if you're the king, you will do whatever kings are supposed to do. Apparently. Protect their people. Right. I think so. I just remember they were supposed to all go to the temple across the river. And if not, they were supposed to go to the hills. I don't know. Everyone's hiding, though. And there's goblins here now. I was going to leave, but they stopped me. So, good luck. And she kind of, like, grabs her crossbow and goes back into... Into hiding um, behind the curtains. Shit, I wanted to ask her if I could get some of that poison if we do this. Do you want some of my poison? I only had a few. I have like four poison crossbow bolts. Do you want one? You don't have a vial. No. A vial of... Damn it. Yes, I'll take the crossbow bolts. Okay. She gives you one bright green tipped crossbow bolt. Welcome to the Drunken yes. Adventures League. Hey, who's that? Tossan? Tossan! underscore Del underscore AMG. Voice changer makes ya sound odd, Turk. I know, right, dude? Makes me sound weird as fucking hell, right, dude? Thank you for 20 months, Tazan! 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 20 months, Tazan! Thank you so much, Tazan, for 20 months, buddy. Cheers, man. Thank you so much for being a part of the show for 20 whole goddamn months. Hey, I love you, Tazan. Thank you so much for supporting us for this long, man. You are a good fucking lad, bro. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you! Tazan! Cheers! <laughs> All right, what do you guys do? Still in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, you're like downstairs. Right. You went like back into the dining room. You're kind of like waiting for them to come down. You can actually hear them talking through the giant hole in the in the roof of the dining room. Okay. Well, I mean, we should check the rest of the tavern for maybe even a little bit more supplies. What did you find, he Bubbles? I don't know the big sack I have. I have a sack full of so much stuff, but he doesn't know I have a sack full of stuff. You don't have a sack. If he would just come downstairs and talk to me, I can tell him all about my large sack. You two go downstairs and meet back up with Bubbles. You see that she's carrying a large sack. Take this! <laughs> Uh, Rasheel from Vamp Knight, you're gonna get an item. Cool. Let me let me yes. let me draw this thing. But you go downstairs, you see the things. What you reach to her? What do you say to them, Bubbles? So like, I we, we scared the goblin, and I got the sack, and it's a really large sack, and there's a lot of stuff in the sack. So, I mean, I think we're pretty good in the sack. Uh, good job, Bubbles. You did good. You got you got a big sack. You got it. And you got it all by yourself. So oh man, no, that's Rochelle such a big sack. Ah, oh, that's that's great. You did good, Bubbles. You did I, good. There was a there was a cooked chicken in there, but I ate it. Uh, all right, uh, here you go, Rasheel from Shadow Vamp Knight. From Vamp Knight, you get the Shadow Drinker. You step downstairs, you see it sticking out of the wall. You rip it out of the wall and begin inspecting it. I'm going to read it up here. This wicked dagger can absorb the shadows cast by your enemies. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. When you hit a small or larger hostile creature with a melee attack using this dagger, you can uh, choose to absorb that creature's shadow as part of the attack. When you do, that creature no longer casts 
a shadow, and the dagger becomes shrouded in a dark haze that extends to you while you hold the dagger. While this haze is also surrounding you, you are invisible in areas of dim light and darkness. The dark haze surrounds the dagger for 10 minutes or until you end this as a bonus action. The haze ends early after you attack or cast a spell. If a creature is hit by the dagger while it's shrouded in this haze, the creature takes an extra 1d6 damage from the attack. This bonus damage increases to 2d6 if the creature hit by the dagger is missing its shadow already. Once the haze ends, the shadow immediately returns to the creature from whom it was taken. You can only have one shadow absorbed in this way at any time. Once you steal a creature's shadow, you can't steal that same shadow again until the following dusk. Curse. You have vulnerability to radiant damage while attuned to this weapon. That sounds deliciously evil. Yeah. No shit, huh? Okay, you grab up this weapon. You meet up with her. She has this large sack full of items. You guys step outside, and you're now looking at this temple up ahead. You look around. You see there is a temple. The bell is still ringing. There's smoke coming out of the windows of this temple. There's something odd alive searching a box in front of the temple. Yeah, you look over to the side. You see up a hill there's a windmill, and past that, just up the round the road, there is what looks to be a drawbridge that goes to the said temple that Anita Dick inside me told you about anita dick and me told you about you could see it over there what do you guys want to do let's go to the temple yeah I, yeah I dude vamp night exercise. you got him something good you really fucking did shinobi going to sleep good night shinobi if you hit the monster shadow does it just absorb the monster no idea i guess we'll see if that ever happens okay you're gonna go to the yeah. temple i want to eat a little bit of the bread that, that was in the sack though hungry so, um, the in the sack there was. We have to ask Bubbles, obviously. Uh, there was a couple of muffins. There was like four muffins, a block of cheese, and a chicken, a cooked chicken. So, there was some other supplies too, but I think I'm gonna have to have the um send me that so I remember what I have. Fair, fair. That is fair. All right, so what are you going to... Yeah, there you go. I think she I said yes, you can have a muffin. Yeah. <gasps> corn muffin. Look at that. For the chicken folk. Hell yeah. That's great. It's fucking great. Okay, you do that. You eat it. Then you three start to approach the temple. You're about 10 feet away. There is what looks like a small person or a goblin or something searching a box on the outside of this temple. What do you do? Try to see if oh. that's what creature it is. I want to know what exactly it is. Roll me perception. Viper said, talk to the goblin. Don't just kill. The most excited I've seen someone over a muffin. <laughs> 12, That's yeah. 14, no, it's definitely... 14. It's a goblin. 14? Yeah, it's definitely a goblin. You could tell by the color of its green skin and by its its snout and all of its teeth. And it's just searching through this box. You, It has not noticed you yet. I want to walk up behind it and just grab it on the shoulder and ask, what are you doing here, little one? Do you speak goblin, Rasheel? No. I actually do. No, oh, Bubbles does. Okay, so Rasheel, you do that. You walk up close to it, you grab it by the shoulder, and then you try to say what you just said, but all the thing the goblin hears is, and it looks up at you and it goes, and it pulls out its dagger and turns around and is like, what the hell? Can I come up and talk to him? Sure. What do you say? Okay, I just want to be like, Hello, Mr. Goblin. What are you doing inside that box there? I search things. Human lady speak like me. Yeah, I learned it back in my village because my, my family wasn't too nice to me. So I went to the forest a lot and I ran across a lot of goblins and I eventually just learned. Too many way. word. Too many word for Urk. Urk is Urk. Urk search box for things. Why here? Why hear you? Ah, uh, Urk search thing. Urk find cool things for goblin leader. What Urk find? Nothing yet. 
So box empty? Yes. Cloth and nothing valuable. This is shit. Fuck shit in there. Nothing good. Can can bubbles look? Bubbles look? No. Urk box. You touch Urk box, Urk fight you. Bubbles no believe Urk. Urk fight bubbles if bubbles touch Urk box. Bubbles fight Urk! Okay. Roll me initiative. <laughs> Urk is Urk. Is Urk good or bad? Who know? We're Urk leader. <laughs> Urk live. Are we fighting them what? or not? Yes, we're fighting them. If you guys... You hear her yell and pull out her weapon. So if you want to roll initiative as well, you can. A 10, you say. Yeah. Okay. Rufflecock, you going to join in this battle? Yeah, I guess. I, 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 I'm no coward. 13. Okay, Urk got a 2. So that means Rufflecock, you see Bubbles whip out her sword, and you get to attack first right after she does that. What do you do? I'm a... See uh, I'm a... On! And I'm a kick him! Right in the nads! Right in the goblin sack! Right in the goblin sack! Hell yeah, dude. Roll yeah. to hit, my friend. Hey, Bo's here! What's up, Bo? We're Urk leader. Urk, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I had a thing for this, and I didn't use it all. Oh, sad. It okay. I got a 15 to hit. Nice. That definitely hits, man. It does two damage. Straight, just two damage. Okay, you just kick him in the balls for two damage. <laughs> yeah, now, Rasheel, it's your turn. What do you do? You see Ruffle run up and kick him in the sack. And then what do you do? Am, am I attuned to my dagger? Not yet. No, sadly. Wait, where is it? Um, Yeah, it requires attunement, so not yet. Okay. But soon. Well, in that case, I'm just going to stab him in the throat. <laughs> okay, you walk up to stab him in the throat. Roll to hit, my friend. That's a seven. <laughs> That's a mess is what that is. Good try. Good try. Unless someone in chat wants yeah, to give you a dice, they're feeling spicy. Viper's feeling spicy. Reroll it, Rasheel. That's not better. <laughs> That's a natural one. Irk too strong. You go up and try to stab him after he, and you totally miss. And this unattuned dagger that you've ad you've attuned to falls out of your hand and falls and hits you in the foot. Roll me a d4 because you're taking one d4 damage. Yeah. And then Irk looks and he's like, "You tried to stab Irk. Irk no could be stab. Irk too strong." Bubbles, it's your turn. What do you do? Stupid. Uh, I want <laughs> to use be. my melee attack, and I want to do a bubble smash on the goblin's stupid, dumb face. Okay, so you can run up and smash his ass. Hell yeah, roll to hit. Fix your goddamn rolls, Viper says. Yeah, yeah, for real. There's a whole other thing that happened with Urk. Like, a whole big thing that happened with Urk during a Friday night tavern hangouts. A one-shot Urk was wild. So, uh, I got yeah. 17. Anyways, 12. 17! That's a hit! Roll me damage with your shield. Let's see what the fuck happens. Uh, damage would be for melee. Is it 2d6 plus 3? Aesthetically for my greatsword, but I... You want to make... You hit Urk in face. You roll damage. You hit with shield or sword? I hit with shield, but I don't have a thing on here for it. I just have my shield in my inventory. Ah. I don't know how to do that. Irk Google. Irk Google. Oh, wait. Here it is. Two. Two. No, it's plus two. Irk <laughs> Google. Irk Google. Shield <laughs> bash. 5E. Shield bash. 5E. Irk Google. Shield bash. I'll write it down. You got 
The bonus action to shove a creature. So don't do damage, but you can shove with shield. Shield master feet. 1d4 bludgeon oh, really? seems reasonable, Reddit says. Urk say, Reddit says, 1d4 bludgeon plus pushback. All my... So plus all my, strength uh, bonus. All my, all my unarmed and tavern brawler stuff is 1d4 plus 3. Yes. Damage. So that. Should we just go by that? Yes. Urk is big five. redditor. Five. <laughs> three plus five plus the two that Rufflecock did. Urk get kicking balls and then smashed in face. Ah! Urk. <laughs> Urk die. Urk not alive. Seven damage. Urk die. Pfft. On the ground. You three are now left standing in front of this box that is just has like clothing items and like candles and like random candle things like a temple would have. Like he's searching through it like nothing even matters. Up above you there is a loud ringing of this bell still. Ding ding! Ding ding! Ding ding! Loud as shit! There's smoke coming out the windows. This place is still on fire. In front of you there are two large steel doors. On the front of these steel doors is the face of some kind of a god that all three of you are not familiar with. There's also a statue to the left of this same god that you're not familiar with. None of you are. None of you know the Ironhead's god that they have been perceiving recently. You have no idea, but you stand in front of these large doors with a dead goblin on the ground in front of you. What do you do? Open the door. Really? Together we can open the door! I am yes. really strong right now. Whatever he says. I yes. guess if the king wants us to open the door, we're going to open the door. Together we'll do it! Come on, guys! Before <laughs> we go, can I kind of search through the box? Because I want to see why Urk was so mad. No. Okay. We're not uh, I will say place. that... Alright, if Ruffle says no, then hey, it's up to Ruffle. I don't know. They're kind of like church belonging. It's like, you owe me. You made me kill innocent goblins earlier. Uh, who said those were innocent? Mm -hmm. Who said they were mean? Who said, who said they, said they were good? Teeth. 64 teeth. It takes 60 seconds. Just let me look through the box real quick. How no get smash. Irks Google uh, history. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, okay, so then all three of you do indeed touch the doors to push them open. As you do, you could tell that the doors are hot as shit. So you do push fast. And as you push these two steel doors open, whoosh, a bunch of smoke completely covers all of you guys and rushes out of the building. And the smoke still fills the building and it's rushing out above your heads. But you begin to start to see. And you look inside and... Temple notes. 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 There is a goblin swinging on a large rope. And the rope is connected to the bell on top of this temple. And he's swinging, having a good old time. A small goblin. And it's going ding, ding. Ding, he's swinging, having a good old time. And there are two other goblins standing up by this pillar. Not, sorry, not pillar, but like oh up, up these stairs, like in where the people, the church people do their things. Standing up there next to him, kind of like clapping and having a good old time. Because of the smoke and the loud noises of the bell almost completely rendering your ears useless. They have not noticed you. What do you guys do? Well, I just had a realization. I think these are the bad goblins that we were hearing about. They're the ones causing destruction and killing people. We killed good goblins and these are the bad ones. Yeah. Problems. Exactly. Oh, okay. I told you you made us kill good goblins. These are the bad ones. So well, we had to kill no these ones. That those goblins from earlier weren't associated with these goblins here. Just say. Because they were helping. Where are they? Where are they? All I'm saying is clearly these are the ones ringing the bells and everything's on fire and that other guy tried to kill us. Irk, you know, so 
Yeah. All right. So the bubble smash and Rasheel steel teeth. Yes, please. Okay, please. All right. Let's go get her. You're muted. Thank you for noticing. Uh, I'm sorry. You three rush into the temple and begin rushing through yeah, to go and attack these goblins. The one swinging on the rope does not notice you. He's having way too good of a time. The two standing next to him kind of clapping see you guys in turn and ready themselves to attack. But you two, Bubbles and Rasheel, are going to get an attack of opportunity because you ran up on them in the middle of the smoke. Rufflecock, you're in the back, running behind. Each of you are going to get one attack, then we're going to roll for initiative if you don't kill them. So, choose wisely. And there is still a goblin swinging from the bell Welcome above. The and there is still smoke all over the place. What is this? Dragons almost a year old. My I'm almost God! My God! Thacko! Thacko, dude! Thacko, dude! Thank you so much for subscribing to the show, dude! For 11 months. Wow. Hey, bro, we're almost a year fucking old, dude! What? Say what? My god, bro, we're almost a year old. How fucking cool is that? Thacko, hey, I love you, dude. Thank you so much for being a part of the Drunken Adventure League. Being a part of the shit show for almost a year! What he said. Irk smash. Dude, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Fucking god damn it. Cheers, Thacko, bro. I love you, man. Thank you so much. Cheers, dude. Cheers. The best kobold insurance woman. Hell yeah, dude. Hell fucking yeah. If you were there for that on Wednesday, shout out. All right, Bubbles, you're going first. One on the left. What do you do? I want to run up and use my great sword and slash him right in the stomach. Oh hell yeah! Roll to hit, Rasheel. You're going second. What do you do? The other goblin. I'm going to stab with one of the crossbow bolts that woman gave me. <sighs> Ooh, you're gonna get an extra one d six bonus poison damage. Roll 12. to hit. Twelve is perfect, Rasheel. A nine. Um, you could add dex bonus to this. Then it'd be a twelve. Perfect. Both of you guys hit. Bubbles, time? roll your damage. Rasheel, roll me 1d4 and 1d6. Ooh. Plus dex. Four. Four? And a nice. Six. Nice. Plus three. Nice. That's 13. A nine. Okay, you stab this goblin in the neck with this poison arrow. And he goes, And you can see all the poison starting to bubble up in his neck, and it's all turning green with his red blood, and it's all boiling out of his body, and he's like, And then Bubbles stands up out of nowhere and swings her long sword and cuts right across his abdomen, and all these liver and organs and things flow out, and as he's falling onto the ground, he's like, and he falls and hits the ground and all this blood starts to puddle about from both of them. They hit the ground. It gets quiet. And then you hear ding, 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 ding. You look up and there's a goblin on the rope staring down at all three of you like scared. He's like 15 feet up and he ain't coming down. He's holding on for goddamn dear life. Scared. Rasheel. Rufflecock. You want to bring down the rope? I have a few daggers I could throw. There's fucking magic happening. Ooh, and cast Eldritch Blast on that. the bell goblin. Hell yeah. But first, continue, you guys. Sorry. Actually, what I'm going to do... Remember, Trevor will ensure any treasure hoard as long as you're dead. <laughs> Okay. On hit. CPU, roll me 1d20. Jelly! Jelly, thank you for the raid, Jelly. Hello. Hey, Good we love guy. you, Jelly. Thank you so much for raiding us. Hey, you guys, Jelly's a streamer. Thank you, Jelly, for the, to the raid, Jelly. It has to be five or more to get the alert. But anyway, thank you, Jelly. We love you. Thank you. The creatures are coming. The goblin is so scared, it has a bladder problem all over the party. Yes. 
Yes. First, Rasheel, do you want to explain what happens? And then I will explain what happens after that. What are you going to yes. do? I'm going to imbue a blood curse of binding on the goblin hand from the roof. This will hold him in place. And he won't be able to move. He'll have to make a saving throw of 12. Bind him in place. A yes. saving throw. For what? Dexterity? No, I believe this is constitution. For him, he has no. It's a strength saving throw. It's a strength saving throw because it's I'm binding his blood, so that he may. Oh. Move. Okay. You're binding him to the rope, eh? Strength save. Uh, goblins have. I have it up here. Goblin gets minus one to strength, so that makes it a eight. That is nine minus one makes it an eight. He misses, eh? Check out his undercut. Spooky Sprinkles made it amazing. Yeah, so we tried to do, for those of you guys curious, we tried to do leopard print and the dye was kind of ass. So it really didn't work out. But hey, it again. it's just like polka dots or whatever. I think it's cool looking. I don't really care. I think it's rad, so I'm cool with it. Anyways, explain the spell to us. He failed this check. What happens, Rasheel? So, it binds a creature you can see within 30 feet of you that is no more one size larger than you. The target must succeed on a strength saving throw of 12 or have their speed be reduced to zero. They can't use reactions until the end of your next turn. So okay, he's so he's stuck. Just, he's just he's stuck there now. Well, yes. He's stuck and there mind. going like this. But hey, because of chat commands... All right, he lets out a bunch of shit and piss out of his body as you freeze his blood. It's so painful, it freaks him out. If you guys want to try to dodge the shit and piss as he's rotating, you could roll me a deck save to try and dodge. You're welcome to do that, or you're going to get covered in shit. Lastly, um, CPU got a 19 on their roll, which means a beam of crackling energy strikes towards this goblin. Uh, make a ranged spell or attack. Right. On hit, the target takes 1d10 force damage. Roll me 1d10 CPU. If you get high enough, you're going to kill this thing. So, roll me 1d10. Let's see what happens. All three of you guys, what are your dex bonuses? None That's of you 12. did very well. Plus three. 12. Plus I got two. Plus three. three. Okay, so 12 and 14 pass. Um, seven does not pass. So, a bunch of shit and piss falls out of the goblin onto you, Rasheel. Kind of like covering you. And you're like, Motherfucker. Yes, give a dice is possible on CPU's hit. We don't do damage. And on Rasheel's roll, if you want, as well. We got a four. So, a strike comes out of nowhere. Whoosh, give and hits the goblin. Dice. And it's like, ah! Uh, give a dice to Rasheel. All right, re-roll, Rasheel. This thing barely has any life left, and it's just grabbing on for dear life to this rope, 14. and it can't fucking move. You dodged the shit, Rasheel. Proud of you. Yeah. Who wants to do what? Who wants to kill this thing? Hey, Uncivil Alpha. Welcome here to the shit show, Uncivil Alpha. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome here, my friend. We hope you enjoy your stay. Cheers, buddy. Who wants to kill this thing? He's frozen. He can't do anything. I'm going to throw my dagger so it cuts the rope. Nice. Sup, Jelly made me come here. Hell yeah, Sparkly NPC! Thank you so much for the follow, Sparkling NPC. Welcome here to the shit show, my friend. We hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Uh, roll to hit the rope, Rasheel. Let's see if you can nail it. What are my pluses for this? Um, Dagger pluses, dex. It would be dex. Okay, also, seven. proficiency. So, plus two, so nine. You miss. Bubbles, what do you do? Do you want to do something to kill this last goblin swinging from the rope? I'm actually wondering if I could tie him up and take him with us. Well, he's still swinging from the rope, so what do you do to get him down? Plus Can five to hit on his dagger. At it and see if he'll fall? No, but you could throw your shield hard enough to see if maybe it'll kill him. Rufflecock, you going to do anything? I mean, she could... Throw her shield, of course. Um, honestly, I was gonna go and grab one of these torches and just light the rope on fire. My 
gosh, nice. you think I'm the barbarian? Nice. No, that's stopping. fucking awesome. Do you want to do that? Yes. Yes. Okay, you do that. You light the rope on fire. This goblin is stuck to the rope. He cannot let go because of Rasheel's spell. As the fire climbs up the rope, he looks down at it. He can't yell. He can't scream. He doesn't know what to do. He's stuck watching the fire climb up and climb up. Bubbles, Rasheel, you both see this evil act happening right in front of you. And it starts to burn up his ass, through his nuts, right up his stomach, all the way to his hands, to his face. And he's still swinging. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. That's fucking awesome. Rufflecock, we couldn't. We couldn't understand anything you said, Rufflecock. Ding, ding. Yeah. It's just burning all the way up, and it, it burns him all the way. He dies. The rope gets severed, and he falls to the ground completely out. His whole body left burnt, and the rope burns all the way up for Draw a little while. And then, from the deck of drunken things. And then the dinging stops. Who's drawing, CPU? And you guys are left there now with two dead goblins and one burnt half to death. Mmm, crispy, hell yeah. Dion, hello! Hello, Dion! Yes! Um, we can put names on it now. On what? Oh yeah, you could use draw a card and then the name. Turkadurk, okay, I draw. You three are left there in this temple. The dinging stops. The smoke has kind of left this temple. There are three dead goblins. What do you three do? Well, I do need to get some teeth. I suppose I'll get more bones. They're already dead. Yeah. I mean, but do you guys really need more bones and teeth? Yes. Duh. Yes. For what? It's to mock Don't my you? Kills. I do not. How do you think I got all these cute accessories? How do you think I got my mask? Rufflecock, what say you, man? What's the deal? Why am I not wearing bones? No, 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 no. What do you guys want to do? What are you thinking? What's the move on plans? The fire's out, the goblins are dead. What's the word? We should go get Adina and then head to the hills. To find the people of the town. Okay. Uh, to the hills. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. So you know you guys aren't gonna like loot or steal teeth or anything like that before you leave here? Well, I was going to until he said I we're going, going to the to. hills. Mm -hmm. Also remember there is a stone temple that she talked about that you guys still have not searched. Uh, well, I guess I'll let my companions do their looting and accessorizing. Yes. Uh, yes. Goblins aren't really that, you know, they're whatever. Who really likes goblins anyway? Yes, nobody. That's why nobody will miss their teeth. That's true, man. I, think they're kind uh, of I don't think anybody was looking for them. So. Uh, oh my god, this is background music. Mr. Brightside, but Bard. Yeah, it's called Bardcore. It's super sick. Uh, no one cared who Rachel was until he put on the mask. <laughs> Rasheel, yeah, 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 yeah. It would roughly go for it, hell yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's so kind of cool. Hell yeah, we love it. Because we're like party, but we're also D&D, &D, so it works. Okay. You guys going to loot these bodies? Yes. Of all their teeth. Okay. You do that. Roll me medicine to steal their teeth. Bubbles, what do you do? I think I'm going to take their bones, but then I also kind of want to search their pockets if they have anything fun to take. Nice! We could do that. Hell it's yeah, dude. It's a six. Give a dice. You get to reroll it. 
Also, there's one inspiration point on the table. CPU, you made me draw this DM card, so this is for you to pick. Who do you feel has done the most inspiring thing in the last uh, hour or so? You pick one person, they get an inspiration point. The way that inspiration points work in our game is they can use an inspiration point to stop you guys from making them re-roll. Also, they can use an inspiration point to re-roll one more time on top of a re-roll. So, uh, you guys say or do or what? Uh, nice. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Nine. Not too bad. Okay, so you pull a couple teeth out, but it really isn't great. And uh, as you go to stick your dagger into their face, as soon as you do, you kind of go to pull it down, and all of a sudden, there's the goblin's eyes kind of open, and then it's like, Aah! and then you stab the dagger right into his face, and he dies, and you pull the teeth out. So that was that was that. Okay. Um, on the steeple floor, there is a sack that has five gold coins in it, bubbles that you find that has, that the goblin has collected. Um, another goblin has a sack that is shaped, that has a symbol of a god that is shaped like a unicorn head. It's a small little tiny golden unicorn head. Those are the two things that you find. Perfect. Yes. Uh, CPU says Loki kind of cool. Ruffle, please fix your mic on the next break. Can't. It's just, he's just laggy and fucked up and we've tried and maybe by next week, hopefully. I think it goes to okay. the dump truck of darkness. <laughs> the dump truck of darkness. <laughs> For that awesome bit with the crossbow bolt. Hell yeah, you get an inspiration point, Rasheel. Remember to use that shit. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. You guys loot the bodies. You grab you some teeth, um, and then you leave the temple, right? You're now standing outside of the temple. We're going to take our 10-minute break, and we're going to come right back. So, before we do take our 10-minute break, we always do this thing called thumbnail poses. If you guys are new around here, basically what thumbnail poses are is you guys can throw out random poses for these guys in chat to pose as. Then you can screenshot them, make memes out of them, put them in random places, make art out of them. Fuck, who cares? Also, this pose here that you suggest might become the actual thumbnail pose for the episode, which is cool. And our episodes do go up, um, not on YouTube, but they're always saved here on Twitch. We have our whole seasons saved and highlighted right here on Twitch that you can fucking check out so thumbnail poses quick you see colonel sanders rufflecock my god all right y'all got one more minute throw out some random thumbnail post suggestions in chat before we get a break you guys what was that don't worry i heard that it. what was that don't worry someone clip it. it let's add it to the fart compilation all right <laughs> <laughs> can't take you anywhere. Right. Fuck you. you all see a cute pupper. Everyone pose. Jelly says you all see a cute pupper. Poses the cute pupper. Oh, how fucking cute. All right, we'll be right back in 10 minutes, everybody. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Okay, we love you. Don't Welcome back to Drunks and Dragons, everybody. This is the show where the players are guaranteed, at least me, to be more intoxicated than their characters and where you, my friends, can have an influence on what the fuck happens in the show. Wait a minute. Flame, what? Wait, wait a minute. What the fuck? I wonder, I wonder it's who it's from. It's from Faye Fiendish Friends. Yo, what the fuck? What's up, Faye Fiendish Hello. Friends? Thank you so much for joining the shit show. Thank you so much for the raid. We just came back from break. Yo, you guys, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, Faye Fiendish Friends, how was your stream? How did it go? What were you playing? Can we please get a shout out for Faye Fiendish Friends, please, you guys? Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. They were playing Dungeons and Dragons. Nice! Raiders, hit the refresh button if you want to support the show! <sighs> thank you guys for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to come around and follow you too. Hey, you guys, you guys here in chat, make sure to follow them. Check them out. They were kind enough to show us some love, so we should write back. All right, thank you guys. Anyways, as I was saying, welcome back to Drunks and Dragons, everybody. The show where the players are welcome to be <laughs> more enticing than their characters. Hey, sassy dragoness! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome here to the shit show, my friend. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Yes, this is Drunks and Dragons. So far, our players came into a town called Soggy Bottom. They learned of a woman named Anita who has been hiding out because a large attack of goblins made her trap, so she stayed there. They went to a temple and killed a bunch of goblins because they had been raiding on the inside. They killed them. Uh, murderously. It was wild. They looted a couple things, did a couple stuff. It was awesome. We now return to our characters now, standing in the center of this village, preparing to head up to the keep. That's where we return. They're gonna head to the keep. Yes, that's where we're at. Welcome back, guys! How the hell? How you feeling, you three? Hi, ha, 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 how you doing? How you doing? I'm Welcome back. There I go. There you yes. go. Yes. Right. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay, so you three now stand outside of this temple. Prepared to go to the keep. You've killed a bunch of goblins. You got some information. You're standing. You could see the keep. You could see a few feet away. Do you head straight there? As voted on by chat, everyone voted you head straight to the keep. Do you do that? Yes. I think we should. Yes. Yes, yes. Rufflecock, the leader. The king. What say you? Uh, but don't we need Anita? No. I mean, no. wouldn't it be ideal to take one of the village's own people with us up to the keep? Maybe it would help gain us some trust and access? No. Who needs trust when you're as strong as we are? Yeah, but we don't want to rule by fear, Bubbles. We want to show compassion and show trust. You fooled me that last time. Well, goblins need to be intimidated, but the people of I our land... Them on fire? Well, yeah, yeah. But the people of our land need us to know that we are kind and just. Kind and just. Well, this is for you guys to decide. What do you decide? Write Anita a letter and then go to the castle. Is he a werecock or just a really large bird? He is a chicken folk. Yes, sir. Chicken folk. Well, I guess we really just have to do whatever the king says. So. Yeah. King? Unfortunately. I, I, I promise you guys this will not backfire like the other multiple attempts of justliness that I've tried. Sure. Sure, it won't. All right, so we're going back to the tavern to get Anita. All right, sounds like a time-consuming chore, if you ask me, but sounds good. You do that. You go back to the inn. You go inside. You go upstairs. You go inside to try and find Anita. You look around. She's not there. She is left. Yeah. Where is she? That's a liar. She was. What do you do? There to begin with. Wear cock. <laughs> That's a goddamn. She said she would help if I made the bells stop ringing. She said she would leave the inn if you made the bells stop ringing. Maybe she's already at the keep. To the keep. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. All right, Rufflecock. All right. You guys leave the inn and walk through this village, past the large gaping hole in the center of the town, past the temple, past all these homes that are on fire, all the way up to what could be the keep. You get to the edge, you get there, you see that. There is a drawbridge that goes to the keep. In the center of this drawbridge, it has been broken. The bridge has collapsed in the middle. There is a 15-foot gap where a rock broke it. It is a 30-foot drop to the rock and to the river down below. You three stand on the other side of this drawbridge. You must get across. What do you do? Do I have all of my sack again? Uh, in your sack. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. You had... A couple of muffins, three more muffins left, a block of cheese, a frying pan, an iron pot, a lantern, two flasks of oil, flasks of oil, cook's utensils, a jar of cloves, and a jar of saffron. 
Nothing useful here, I guess. No. No, wait, quick, throw the cheese. No, I'm gonna eat that later. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> throw the cheese. Ah. <laughs> what do you do? 15 foot gap. How do you get across? Do you jump? Do you swim? Do you find rope to go across? What do you do? I mean, yeah. are there like broken buildings? Kind of esque. Broken buildings. Yes. Oh, uh, the, right. Hey, what the fuck, boy? Lay down. Building you debris. You can't die. There are buildings that have giant rocks that have like collapsed pieces of them. Yes. Why do you ask? Viper, why'd you I, just at me for no reason? Can I gather boards and construct them as a makeshift kind of bridge by interweaving them and stacking them on top of each other, counterbalancing to be able to withstand our yes. weight? You, this is D&D. &D. You could do that, but you have to roll me a survival to see how well your construction of this thing is read above quick like legend and zelda pick up wow. ruffle and jump when he flaps it will work sure totally so you must roll me a survival oh, while he's doing that because i do have rope is it possible is there broken build stuff on the other side of the bridge could i lasso and throw over to something sturdy I'm across the way do you have rope? Yeah, I have 50 feet of rope. Yes. You guys got one adventurer's pack from the blacksmith, which means you have one 50 foot of rope. Started, Is now the time to use it? No, no, no. You got one adventurer's pack from the blacksmith. You didn't actually start with that, even though D&D &D Beyond says that that's not what happened to our oh. story-wise. You oh. have one 50 foot feet of rope you must share. Is now the time to use it? Yes. I say we lasso it over across and climb our way over. Rufflecock? I mean, it's better than what I tried. All my sticks fell in the water. Oh, yeah. What did you roll, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. That was five. I mean, I rolled a five. three, but I had a plus two. Yeah. So you two. Okay, so you could totally lasso up with this 50 foot of rope. It's a great idea, Bubbles. It really is. It's a great idea. You could help the whole team by doing this. I think it's fucking fantastic. But if you're going to lasso up this rope and throw it across the bridge to be able to lasso something, you're going to have to roll to hit. You could see there is indeed a pole sticking out on the other side of this bridge, whereas if there were boards connected before, before they fell and break, it's connected. It seems sturdy. That's what you could aim for. But... You have to throw this thing, this rope, 15 feet. Are you the one to do it? Do you think you could hit this what rope? Say, could you? Could we roll with athletics for this, throwing the rope? No, that would be dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, yeah, I dex. I yes. Do you? Cut in half, and you have two 25 have feet of rope. I have plus two. What do you have? I have plus three dex. Okay, let, let, let Rachel, Rochelle do it. CPU has found their good pins for digital art. Now on to Dumpster Truck of Darkness. Yes! Dumpster Truck of Darkness! I'm excited for that. I'm excited. Also, I just I just realized what the fuck Viper was saying. Viper was like, someone grab Rufflecock and run and jump with him. He will mm -hmm. flap like Legend of Zelda. I get it I now. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, okay. So, Rasheel, you're going to throw I this really, rope. I really wish hat time was activated for this. <laughs> Hat time for the lasso? Yeah, oh. dude. <laughs> no one's been on the commands tonight, bro. We've been command dull all night. I blame you, chat. What's the deal? You would like dice pour? What's the what's the deal? What's going on? I know you don't have the dice. Go watch more shows. Be more involved. What's the deal? I know. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna throw this rope. Rasheel, I want you to go on ahead and throw it and roll me Wait a minute. hit. Hats, it's hat time. Oh, yes. Hey, there we go. Magical flying hats flying out of nowhere and land on our players' heads. 
slightly changing their personalities, but also just making them look funny for 10 minutes. Thank you, Odie, for the hat time. I'm sure Rasheel is happy about this. All right, Rasheel, you're gonna throw this rope. You wanna act it out for us and then roll yeah. me hit? Yeah, do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing this piece of rope around. Draw a card from the deck of drunken things. And then I'm gonna lasso around the pole sticking out on the other side. That's what's I love happen. that you're you're Rasheel, but you're also Southern now. It's good. I don't have a I'm horse Southern sound, Rasheel. so I can't. Wait, I do. You throw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like All right. So also, Tossun's making rope. ruffle cock draw a card. Let's go. You're like so good at drawing a card. All right, roll to hit, Rasheel. Let's see what happens, dude. I have a plus three to dex. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fourteen! That's Hell. a fourteen. That's a fourteen, brother. Hell yeah! You throw it over there, it whips around the the two by four over there. And lashes up. You have it now, getting it all taut. There are a couple things behind you. There's like more wood that you could tie it to. There's also like a rock. Um, and there's like a broken building that has some metal sticking out. What are you gonna tie the other end of the rope to? First of all, who's that now? Who just hosted the show? Here's dessert! Uh, thank you for hosting. You're like totally rad. Thanks for the host yeah. there, partner. Thank you very Hell much! Yeah. Rufflecock, you're old now? Thank you for the host. Here's dessert. Appreciate you. Alright, what are you gonna tie it to, Rasheel? I'm gonna tie it to the post on the other side of the bridge. Hell yeah. You do that. Now, there is a rope that it extends 15 feet across this large open hole on this bridge. It's a 30 foot drop to water and rocks. Like you three stand there. Um, Rufflecock, your next roll is automatically a nat 20. Thanks to Tossun and his, and his give a card, yeah. What did you say? Your, oh, ne it's your it's next cool. roll is an Audi Nat 20, Rufflecock. What? Nothing worse I hate than big get big get ah! God damn, that was scary. What the fuck was. Oh, Suni did the first ever jump scare. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> scared. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was like, ah! What the fuck? Thank you for that, Suni. You're great. Thank you for the jump scare. Uh, but I didn't hear. I was. It was fucked up because I was trying to hear what the fuck Rufflecock was trying to say because he just cut out like a madman and then all of a sudden jump scare. So thank hey, you for that. All right. Ruffle, what'd you say, man? You, what did you say? What did you, you do? Say? Your next roll. Your next roll is an auto 20. All right. My next roll is an auto 20. All right. Thank you. What are you going to do? I don't know what's I'm happening. Look at the bridge. And I'm going to leap across. Lifer. You gonna leap across and fly? Yes. Oh no, Rachel is going to heaven. Don't go to the light, Rachel. Your white I'm balance is taking you to heaven. I'm Your white dead. balance. All right, Ruffle Cock. But I tried not to give it to him. Your auto white balance is fucking up, son. You gotta turn that shit off. It. Yeah, turn that white balance off, son. Rasheel has become an angel cowboy. Yeah, dude. That's all right, fed. you're Rufflecock, your old ass, all of a sudden now because of hat time, your old ass flies across this bridge. You get an auto nat 20, so you nail it. You jump and you fly. I wouldn't make you roll decks, but you've got an auto nat 20, so you're good. You just fly across the 15 feet, landing on the other side, leaving the other two behind. There is a rope attached to one side and attached to the other. The 15 foot gap. Bubbles, Rasheel. What do you do? Bubbles, we'll let you go first while Rasheel tries to fix his white balance. So, like, we totally, like, tied off the rope on this side, right? Yeah, totally. Okay, then, like, I just totally want to, like, climb across. Like, it's arm day, duh, you know? 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so then up to you. You can either do dex or strength. And technically right now you have a 25 strength, which means you have like a plus Your dice roll six in Tampa. plus it's seven. I then. have no idea. Plus for bubbles, you get a plus three from here's dessert as well. So you just got to carry yourself across. I got a three. <laughs> plus so you got like a plus six, else, plus so... three, which is a nine, which makes it a 12. So it's not... Good, but you do Unless it. You've else got wants this. To give me a give a dice, you know, like your anything like that. You know. Natural strength manages to help you carry yourself across, and you get to the other side. Rasheel, you're left by yourself. What do you do? I'm I'm gonna shimmy across the rope myself. Hell yeah! So you're gonna shimmy. You could either carry yourself give being dex or Suni made well, bubbles. Reroll. Give a dice. Okay, that's like All way right, better. You, yeah, no, you do it great. You're like fantastic. You're like, I mean, plus seven, plus three, which is, yeah, 26. You, you kill it. You get to the other side perfectly. Standing next to old man Rufflecock now. Um, Rasheel, no. you're going to shimmy. So, dex or strength up to you, but you've got to do it. You could also do acrobatics if you want to like run across the rope. You could do athletics if you want. It's actually probably more plementous. I'm going to do dex. All right, let's do it, son. Five yeah, plus that's an eight. All right, not good. The creatures, not good. The creatures are coming. What's a jet of water? Sagwin just. All right, so Storma. Hey, welcome here, my friend. You must join a faction to use the commands, which means you must change the name, the color of your name in chat. That's the way our factions work. If you want to use the creature command, you must change the color of your name to purple. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple other creatures in chat who could help you to do the exact thing, old dangle command. Yes, exclamation point creatures. You must join a faction to be able to use those commands, my friend. Yes. Also, there's a exclamation point faction info, which will tell you all of the details. Yes. Okay, you got an eight, Rasheel. Not good. You too, Rufflecock Bubbles. You see Rasheel struggling, climbing across this rope. He's not doing good. He's kind of like letting go. He's trying to get across. He can't. His cowboy hat's going to fall off, and he's struggling, and he's climbing. Oh, no. and you don't think he's going to make it. Bubbles, Rufflecock, what do you do? Like... You're like old and yeah, gross. Can you just Hello? Go and fly and help him. Oh, my headphone died. <laughs> yes, you're like the king and stuff. Like, this is your job to help your people and all that. So, like, just go do it. What? Yeah. Screw the people. No, it's no I cannot <laughs> hear you. You're just so wrinkly and old. Yeah, you're just blowing oh. out, son. I can't understand you. <laughs> what? Literally. Hey! Hey, Sparkly! Oh. Well, here you go. Tossing a coin to my will. Uh -oh. oh, cool. Here you go. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the $3 donation, Sparkly. Yo, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Did Cheers, we, like, my friend. swap thank out you. Rufflecock with Rochelle? Because, like, old cocks are gross. True. Um, you guys got, like, a minute or two left on this uh, here hat time. So, um, Rufflecock, honestly, we can't hear you, bro. Anything you say, we can't. You just sound blown out, and you keep chopping. So, we can't hear you. So, um... What do you do? You guys see Rasheel struggling. What do you do? Viper gave me a give it to us. Did he? Nice. Hell yeah. Then re-roll that shit, son. Let's go. Eight. That's, that's an 11. That's a lot better. You barely make it. We're going to say Bubbles, you run to the edge and grab Rasheel's hand as he's about to fall. Like, uh, I'm not doing and you pull him up. alone. You guys have made it across the bridge. And uh, hat time is over. Lots of fun, but hat time is over. Um, Stuma said, there we go. I'm purple now. Good. You join that faction. We also The factions are also super involved in the Discord. You can get involved with that more there. If you use exclamation point faction info, it will send you to a Google Doc, which tells you all the things about the factions. Let me go back up here and see what the fuck your thing was. What the hell is a Sai Sayahagwin? I don't know what that is. It's It squirts a jet of water at Rasheel. We can do that, uh, but you gotta tell me what the hell a Sahagwin is, because I don't know. It's a fish person. Eh, okay. Well, if you want to squirt water, Rasheel, you can do that. Use exclamation point 1d20 and roll me a dice and chat. We'll see if you can 
hit Rasheel in the face with some water. But before that happens, you guys have made it across the bridge. It's old Greg. This is my scaly man fish. <laughs> it's old Greg. It's scaly man fish. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Okay. Uh, the keep! You look across. The keep is in a sorry state. You're starting to approach it. Even the large wooden doors on the front have fallen off or are now on the ground. Inside, you look close. You could see there are four guards huddled around a body that is lying on the table. Seems like someone died and there's four armored guards huddling around this body, trying to decide what the fuck shall we do? Chat! Use the name a thing command and throw out one random name and we will choose four of them and then name these four damn guards. All right, so use name a thing and throw out a random name to name one of these guards. Throw it in a chat. You could even use a race if you want to, but just give us a name. There's a name a thing command. You could spend a hundred experience points and just throw out name a thing and then we will pick our four favorites. Okay, so you're approaching this keep. You see the four guards standing there around this body. What do you do? You're walking up slowly. God! Oh, God! God, you sound like shit. <laughs> Keep talking, though. We can kind of understand you. Go ahead. I mean, should I try to fix it? No, you're good. You're good. You sound okay. Just maybe don't yell. I think Discord is suppressing you. All right, gods. What has happened here? All right, all three of you approach. You say, gods, what has happened here? They turn, see all three of you standing there. One of them says, hey, my name's John Cena. The other one says, I'm Curly. The other one says, I'm Carrie. And the other one says, we are the Soggy Bottom Boys. Hey, I heard someone say John Cena, but I don't see who said it. Who said that? It's the guard standing there to your left. What? Oh, here. But he's not. This? I don't see him. Oh, because you can't see me. Anyways, we, uh, look, some shit went down here. Uh, our lady here, our great lady, our Earl of this town. She was in the great hall and the roof collapsed. She was buried under the rubble and she died before anyone could reach her. The people wanted to come to the keep to stay safe, but you see, it's just us five here. Well, us four, because she's dead. The rest of them fled to the caves and the hills to stay safe. They were supposed to all run here, but the keep, the bridge broke. The hills are the backup plans to stay safe from attack. We're a trading company. We get attacked very often. The people fled to the hills. And you see, once the four, once all the villagers had fled, there were these four pale skin giants. They descended from the sky. They came out of a castle in the sky, almost like a cloud castle. And they uprooted the large stone in the center of the village square. They took it back to their castle and they left soon thereafter, leaving us open for attack by orcs and goblins and God knows what. Us four were left here with our lady, our steward. She died. We don't know what to do. We put her here on the table. We don't know how to bury her. We don't even know how to get out of here. We're surrounded by a moat and our bridge is broken. Who are you? Well, I am King Rufflecock, king of all Intoxica. Oh. And I'm here to help. And I'm Bubbles, and I can help you bury her if you want, because I know how to make decorative pieces out of bones. You know what? Does Bubbles she need her teeth? Might be helpful. Yes, she needs her teeth. We will not desecrate the body of this royal woman. We worshipped her. I won't, but I would. Uh, king, uh, uh, you say. You really are yeah. the king? I thought the king died. Yes. Who are you? I, well, the king was taken out, and then now I am the new king. My name is King uh, Rufflecock, and I'm mm. here to put balance back into our land. I see you're wearing the crown, then. So, you know what? Maybe you are the king. Maybe. You know. If you really were the king, though, you would help us save our people. The people need to know it's safe to come home. 
The people need to know it's good to be here and be back again. We must rebuild our town. Our town of Soggy Bottom. The best trading post town in all of the land. We're right in the center of Intoxica. We are the trading post. And if the trading post goes down, we're fucking screwed, man. The people must know. We must bury our lovely royalty woman. And Do she doesn't have a name. Her name. <laughs> I was going to say chat, use name a thing and name this woman, but she's going to be irrelevant in five minutes. So I don't want people to spend their points for no reason. You could name her if you want. Use name a thing and name her. But we must bury our royalty woman. We need someone to go to the caves to tell the people it's okay to come home. Especially as long as those goblins are gone now. Did you deal with the goblins? Oh yes, all three of them. Seemed like a yep. real problem. Three. Five. There was like 20. Oh, well, there's not that many anymore. Oh, okay. Did you search the homes? Hey. Oh shit. No. Uh, the windmill? Uh -uh. No. Uh, I would have, but I can't leave. Where did you side. kill goblins at then? The tavern! The inn and, and the church. Uh, okay. It's two places then. Two. You killed four from two places. There's six other buildings in our town. Well, whatever. Look, we need the people to know it's okay to come back. We need them to know that those giants from that castle are gone. And they can come home and we can reclaim our land. Look, we're going to bury our woman here. If you want to help us, that's fine. But we need you to go to the caves. Go to the caves. Yes, our royal woman, Barbara. Named so by Dratsum. Uh, X underscore X. Underscore. Uh, Barbara. Royal Barbara. The queen, the earl of Soggy Bottom. She is dead. We must bury her and give her a real funeral. And while we do that, you must go to the caves. And help our people. What say you? For we can't hear you! Yeah! Let's do it! Together! <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, yes or no? Will you go? Yes! Yes. All right. Well, it seems you've already made a rope to get across the bridge. Uh, I suggest you go to the hills. There is a place called the Caves of something. Don't know what it is. We're going to name it next time on Drunks and Dragons. You guys will be heading towards some caves. But before you do, uh, I want to ask you guys a question. I don't want to railroad you. So do you want to help bury this woman? Do you want to just leave? Do you want to loot this temple? Do you want to do anything? Before we head off. I'm going to be putting more teeth into my shoes. Okay. I like the whole barrier. Oh, wait, I want to attune with my dagger as well. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to attune with my axe, but after I help bury the lady. You want to help bury the lady? Okay, I like you do that. And the guards, Jesus, I need to remember their name. John Cena, Curly, Carrie, and Unnamed, you help the Soggy Bottom boys bury Barbara, the Earl of Soggy Bottom. They dig a nice large hole, and you help her, help them lower her down into the hole, and you bury it up. And what do you do? I would love to say a few words, but no one would hear them. We could kind of understand you right now. What do you say? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Um, for knowing Barbara for a short amount of time, I know that she was a noble, and she had noble blood, and she probably did noble things with her nobility. So... I wish her the best of wishes in the afterlife. And may her riches gather in her fortune. 
Kind words, Rufflecock. Very kind words. The other two hear you saying these things. Roll me performance real quick. Let's just see how much they respect your kind words. Uh, yes, uh, Uncivil Alpha. We will be naming it next time. So, um, OD will refund you. Make sure to come back next time. We'll name these caves. We name a lot of shit in this world <laughs> as we proceed. What do you got for performance, Rufflecock? That's a nine. A 13. You got to re-roll, son. Uh, yeah, so on our map here, we name a lot of things as we proceed. <laughs> uh, what? Hey. You got a natty 20! Hey, dude! Yeah. Natty rocking 20! Yeah, dude! All right, all right. Do us the natty 20 dance, Fishy. Do it! Ruffle cock, natty 20 <laughs> dance. Everybody swing your arms around. Natty 20! And you can't give a dice, and they give a dice, Grimma. So what's up? Natty 20! <laughs> Hell yeah, very good. You give this speech, and it's the first good speech you yourself have ever given in your time of adventuring. The other speeches you've done have been trash. This one honestly wasn't even that great, That's but true. you can tell that by the way they take in this speech that you've said, they respect you. And they're like, Hell yeah, Rufflecock. Yes. Chai T, yo, what's up? Chai T, welcome here to the shit show, my friend. Cheers. Thank you so much for following and supporting our show. We appreciate you. Welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hell yeah. The soggy bottom boys are like, Hell yeah, Rufflecock dog. That's right. It's respect. Respect. Right? Your first good speech. Very good. All right. You three then, unless, Rasheel, you want to do something, you're putting teeth on your thing. You three then leave across the bridge. I'm not going to make your roll for it this time. You've done it before. It's all good. You, you can take your time this time so you actually make it. Across the bridge, back through the town. You can still hear some things happening inside of the homes. Like they said, goblins, but you're not really worried about that. You're trying to make your way to the caves to help save the people. You get to the edge of town, and as you do, who's standing there but Anita? Anita... Dick and me. And as she does, you hear the sounds of hooves coming through the town. Hold on, where's my music here? We're gonna do it intensely. Here we go. You hear the hooves of horses. You hear the hooves. And up ahead, you see what looks like six men wearing green on horses. They approach, they get real close, they come over the drawbridge, g -g 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 and they start circling you guys. You look at them, you could see one of them has a goblin on a stick and is using it as if it's a puppet. Another one has a goblin on the back of his horse and it's like a zombie goblin and it has like white in its eyes and it can't even really control what it's doing. And they're all circling you and Anita's just standing there watching this happen and they circle and they circle and they're all staring at you. They just made their way over the drawbridge into this town that has been abandoned. And that is where we leave it for tonight. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. A new member joins the party. Hey, uh, Marky! Thank you so much for the bar to follow, dear Marky. Welcome here to the show, my friend. Uh, Docker Bacon and Beer. Yo, what's up, dude? Will you stop with the trotting? Thank you. Hey, welcome, Marky. Thank you so much for following. Welcome here. Seems I've fallen into madness, but this is a welcome one. Hell yeah, Chai T, dude. What's up? Okay, so uh, before we go, Bubbles and Rasheel, you guys are going to be attuning to your weapons um, over this short rest that we're taking, I guess, in the center of these seven trotting horses. Rufflecock, is there anything you want to do before next week? What are you going to be doing? Hmm. I think I should be reading like some of these religious textbooks that were from the temple. Maybe I should learn a little bit about the gods that were around here and maybe get some divine influence. Hell yeah. What a nerd. Well, hey, I tell you what, Rufflecock, as some super third wall shit, if me and Odie and the Ironheads can come up with the god that they have been worshipping in this town in Discord before next week, that's what you will learn about. But if not, you read text that means no sense to you. So, we'll see what happens. Hi, Mark! What's up, dude? Welcome! So, that's where we're leaving it for tonight. You three are being surrounded by a few men on horses wearing green as Anita Dick and me stares at you. 
wondering what's going to happen next. We're gonna go to break for 10 minutes, everybody. Before we go, though, we are going to be doing a thumbnail pose. If you're new around here, we do these things called thumbnail poses, where you can throw out random poses in chat, then these guys will pose as those poses, right? And then you could screenshot them, make memes out of them, put them wherever you want to put them, in space, in a porno, in uh, Facebook, next to Bernie Sanders. I don't fucking know, but you could screenshot them and do that because it's a green screen. You see that? It's really easy. And then the thumbnail pose may also become the thumbnail pose for the episode because we highlight all of our episodes as VODs here on Twitch, and you're always welcome to rewatch them if you missed anything. We have, like, season one through nine up on this shit, so watch it up. Connor, stand the fuck up for art purposes, CPU says. <laughs> R- Rachel as Superman pose. But first, stand up, Rasheel. Let's see it for art purposes. Uh, art purposes. That, I've heard that before. He's wearing full black. He's CPU wants to see your your badonka donk. You know what I mean? Turn around. Give us the badonka donk. Jump truck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, now do us a do us a Superman pose, Rasheel. Let's do it, man. Oh shit. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I can. Hold on. This might work. I don't know. And then you other two prepare. Prepare for app. Yeah, you guys pretend to hold him. Then after that, all of you guys are going to do T poses. So, damn boy, that's a thick ass boy, boy. He can't. He can't get. No, no, no. Look at the screen. It's working. Can we, yeah, that's it. That's as much as we get. All right, good job. Now everybody, T pose for me real quick. T pose for me. Oh. <laughs> nice, got all the help from that. Thanks. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. All right, everybody, T pose. My T pose is off. It's gonna be off monitor. Yeah, because everyone's cameras are smaller than we know, <laughs> except Ruffles. His is good. Everyone else's is cut off. Here we go. There we go. Everybody's T posing. There we go. Very good. We're going to be right back in 10 minutes, everybody. And here's the deal. When we come back in 10 minutes, these lovely lads are going to be out of costume. We're going to hang out and do like a stream breakdown, talk about some things that happened. We're going to review some clips. If you have made a clip from tonight, make sure to submit it in our Discord. The person with our favorite clip of the night gets a bunch of free dice currency from us. Um, We're just going to hang out a little bit out of costume so you guys can actually talk to these fuckers uh, without story shit happening. Because whenever story things are happening, it's kind of hard to talk to chat. So we'll be... Uh, excuse me, right back in 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere, everybody. We'll be right back. This is the way. That's right. Make them into a fence.